Hey travelers, welcome back to Ghost Light. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Friday Night Community Night here on Ghost Light. Thunder's in the chat. Thank God it's Friday. Indeed. Is it Friday though? It's a drill week. Uh, it's 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 drill weekend for me. So it's all army all weekend, and it's a three day. So it's already started, uh, but I am excited that it's Friday and I'm here with you all uh, because it's been kind of a grueling re week, right? MJ, hello, Furball's in the chat. What's going on, Furball? Hey, listen, it's community night. We talked uh, about doing a death match, but let's see who we got. I think I saw Bur oh, Burger Lips is actually in the chat. I just can't hear him because he's muted. Hey, Burger, what's going on, man? <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. Can they not hear you? Oh, boy. Hey, say something. Oh, you're coming through, I think. Hey, hey, chat, give me some feedback. Let me know if you can actually hear Burger. I'm not seeing anything on the uh, on my meters, but I am seeing your name come up on screen. So, hmm. 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 Interesting. Ooh, Eric says I cannot hear Burger. All right. Well, that's. F you know what it might be? Probably the last time we were in this channel, I was probably. I probably switched it. I sure did. I sure did. Look at that. It's always something completely reasonable that I did wrong. How's about now? Did, did you say anything? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh no. I broke it even worse. All right. I see you on the meter. I think you're okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. MJ's in the chat. Eric's in the chat. Thunder's in the chat. Raging furballs in the chat. Now we can hear Burger. All right. Fantastic. Hey, man. What's going on? How was your week? It's all right. It's all right. Ooh. Getting some lag. I see you walking around down there. Yeah, you know what's funny is that my, uh, this, uh, uh, camera's been really laggy as well. It's been super, um, glitchy. I'm, like, glitching all over the screen, which is, like, perfect for, uh, No Man's Sky. Um, but, you know, just generally speaking with conference calls and stuff I do at work, not the best. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Oh, uh, you're here. I'm here. Oh, yeah. I was just hanging out by the, uh, by the pool, you know. Yep, yep. So, so what are we so, doing? Uh, well, I didn't know if we were going to deathmatch or not. It kind of depends on who's going to show up. But until then, I was curious, what have you been up to? I've been seeing you in-game. You've been posting some pics. I'm just playing around. Just kind of getting back into it. Trying to trying to get my away team, Dave, you know. All away team. Up to snuff. Up. Yeah, yeah. I have, a, I have an idea. Uh, Atlas Galacticus is in the chat as well. Love the name. Um, I have an idea for the away team. I'm super stoked. I'm oh, there's only one bit yeah. of implementation. I'm not sure about um, Because I want to somehow bring the discord coin into it. I don't know how in a way that's fair because not everyone does the dailies But you know some people do so I don't know. We'll see maybe something like you can buy perks throughout the away team with actual uh Discord coin. I don't know. Walking in circles. So how you been liking the update? Good. I'm actually putting together a little video of my top 10 favorite things. Oh, very about nice. About the uh, new update. Can you give us a preview of your, your, your 10th, your 10th choice? I, I, I cannot. Ah, foiled again. 
<laughs> Other right. than that, eh, not, not much of anything going on. Let's see I like it. Just... It's cool. Yeah, I'm digging it. I, uh, I, I've been finding myself just like traveling to uh, space stations, like looking at the different variety of space stations. Um, right. I find myself in a spot, you know, like normally when I when I'm in game and I'm I'm doing things, I'm like thinking of the next video, and I haven't really been doing that too much. I've just been kind of enjoying the update a little bit, um, you know, like the yeah. colors and the way that the uh, space stations have been updated, but also like, you know, like the mannequins are working. So going to check those out and then seeing like all. I the missed the empty tube. You missed the empty tube, really? Uh huh. What did you like about the empty Being that empty, I was just, it was empty, it was a tube, you know, it's not to love. What's not to love about an empty tube? Now there's some guy hogging up all that space. It's just a mannequin. Don't you kind of want to find like, do you have a, do you have a doppelganger? I actually, well, I actually don't necessarily want to talk about Mm. The, the guy gotcha. in the tube because he's on my top 10 list and I got a lot to say about him. <laughs> about the guy in the tube <laughs> I gotcha I gotcha no spoilers no I'm kidding I'm kidding um, Furball says I'm trying to find a system near Dress Leona where I can build a community stasis farm that stasis device farm that would be that would be awesome Art B is in the chat what's going on Art long time no see alright man hey uh I've been doing a couple of things to my freighter. You want to check it out? I don't know if you can see it. We always have that trouble. Yeah, sure. Um, while we're waiting to see if anyone else hops on, I don't know if Slime's getting on or if he's going to want to host our little... Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to see anything on your freighter. <laughs> I mean, maybe. They I mean, they fixed some stuff. At least the uh, chat can see it. I've been trying to make... Uh, Wait, why are we over here? Because I'm going to... I'm just, I was gonna. Oh, you can't warp to my freighter, can you? Nah. No. I was gonna fly to it. I thought you were just you were going out to the. Uh, oh, is it already up there? Landing oh, docks. it's already up there. Boop. It's already up there. I just warped it in again. In yeah, my bad. Um. I've been playing with the platforms. I like the. Uh, you know, you can kind of glitch the platforms in different levels inside of rooms using like a light box and stuff. Oh. I've been playing with that. So you've been glitch bit. building on it on I've top of building. me not being able to render correctly. I'm sure it'll be just fine. Oh, yeah. Probably won't be able to see any of it. I won't be able to stay on long tonight, but I can stay on for a while. No, that's fine because I also yeah. can't stay on long. I have a, uh, I have a zero six, um, first formation, which is rough. It's rough. So you should be sleeping right now. It's rough for the life that I lead. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, what are you, what are you doing? It's, it's slightly earlier than what I normally uh, would wake up, so we'll see. Did you resize the portal? I did. I resized it. And I knocked it on its side, and I made it look like a pool. Uh, wholly inspired by um, Burgerlip's build, Andreas Leona, his his uh, hot springs. I do not see you or your freighter anywhere. Oh uh, no. Out here in space. Where no one can hear you scream? Yeah. That place. I, see, I bought I see, a, I uh, my first freighter on my away team safe, and I'm turning it into a large food truck. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, 24 hour burgers. 24 hour burgers. Perfect. Hey, uh, I see you. You can't see me? I don't see you anywhere. I don't see your icon. I don't see any freighters. Oh, Even um, in my radar, I don't see nothing. Oh, you know what? Are, is it because we're not in a group? Have we not been in a group this whole time? No, we haven't been in a group. Oh, that's probably the reason. I cannot invite you to a group because you are currently busy. Yeah. yeah. Hey, let's let's head to the anomaly and group up. What do you think? I just got. I just entered your oh, game. Oh, you joined. Okay. Cool. I just log out and go to the main menu. Oh, you're just really quick with it. Yeah. I've been playing okay. with the uh, with the frigate missions as well, just trying to see if I can get them to like ask me for help, and they don't. 
because I haven't been on, so I, I send like oh. my C class frigates out and then they all get like wrecked. <laughs> and I log back in and I have like five frigates that need repairing. It's kind of annoying, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I see Atlas Galactus says I made my own custom hot rod alpha vector painted with metallic and red. Oh man, I hate this little there's like a little uh, emoji that's always in the way of the chat. Oh, ever oh. since No Man's Sky Orbital update came out, I gotta say I'm loving the update so far. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I love, I love the customization that you for your builds. I just am horrible about like settling on a thing. You know, like yeah, this is the ship. This is gonna be my ship. You know what I mean? Well, like I I'm, found your icon floating in space, but there's no nothing here. Seriously, man. So we are definitely still playing No Man's Sky. <laughs> we didn't jump games or anything like that. Alright. Um, hmm. Let me do this. I'm going to hop hop back out into space. I'll recall in my freighter. Maybe that'll do it. If not, maybe I'll just show the chat what's up and then... Alice is back. What's going on, Alice? Let me summon my freighter. Let me get rid of my freighter, I guess. And then summon my freighter. I might just be too close to the planet. Yeah. 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 Or not. Let's do this the hard way. There we go. Called it back in. Any luck? Um... Hold on, I'm not in space right now. I am talking to a guy. All right, well, for those of you who are in the freighter with me, this is my freighter. I've been working on it. It's nothing spectacular. Um, the real issue with my freighter is it has a lot of parts. And this character, uh, the safe is actually, I've hit the, I've hit the limit a few <laughs> times. I just keep deleting stuff. Um, so part of my mission here is to redesign the freighter so it still looks cool, but uses less parts. So this is like my little uh, teleport hub. It takes me to a variety of places. This one is like a little sort of uh, personal ready room type of thing. It's mm. just, you know, it's well, just a thing. As I was flying towards the icon of the freighter, the icon of your starship jumped away. And the freighter is now gone. Oh, now, yeah, okay, now your freighter's just an icon in space. Oh, so, goodness. this is gonna be one of those nights. Mm. <laughs> um, these, these are the rooms I'm working on currently. Well, actually, let me show you this. This is the, this is the real killer for my, uh, my base part limit is the library. Pretend uh, I'm there, and then I'm seeing this. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna explain oh. it to you, I'm gonna explain it to you like you're here with me. Uh, the library has a lot of these uh, things that are fake books, and that's killing me right now. So I you do want to tablets. They, they look like kind of tablets. They're really just cases, so they kind of look like books. But oh, that thing! That thing's cool. Yeah. yeah, but it's a lot. It's just a lot of parts, and I didn't make it wrap around it. Otherwise, it would be more. Oh, actually, some of them are gone. Oh, that's weird. Well, somebody oh, check them out. Probably... Mm -hmm. No, it's probably because we're multiplayer. I probably hit the uh, the render limit. Because um, mm -hmm. there are a few things that are missing from this room. Uh, so I got to redesign this room. Lots of books, lots of weird stuff. Um, but then it has like a little reading room. Yeah. Uh, one of the rooms I just, I've been working on is uh, this room over here is like the transport room. And I glitched in a couple of, uh, it's, I didn't use the teleportation room. I just used the teleporter. You can do the catch pin glitch to do that. Uh, and then getting them on their side is tricky. Uh, I just turned a light block around and then snapped it to where I wanted to go. Oh, uh, Rask Rex asked, Burger, is your freighter out as well? I didn't see your freighter in space, but that might just be because uh, I I think it is. Oh, you should try to ditch that and see if you can see mine. Oh. Can you only see one at a time? I can just watch your stream. It's okay. Or you can watch my stream. That's, the parts probably won't load anyways. Yeah. Right now, Sean is and watching I always a server stuck. catch fire. I get stuck in your freighter all the time. Yeah, it's true. You do. 
Um, this is my little teleport hub. It's got a little guy over there controlling it, and these things just kind of look cool. You, you kind of walk on top of them, but that's fine. We got a little storage spot. It's cool. It's got some stuff. It is what it is. Um, and then the other thing I've been working on is the, like, the little, um, explorer hub. So every, like, little room has, like, a, a, uh, a, a channel on our Discord, if that makes sense. So this is, like, the little explorer hub one. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of a thing. Got a couple of levels. I kind of dig that. And, uh, it's got a little, a little map to plan your missions. Uh, I glitched the, um... I forget the name of the parts. The probe, the planetary probe room. Um, I, I, <laughs> I glitched whatever this thing is called. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing great with words. Um, the, uh, what is it I called? like the sound of planetary probe room. Mm -hmm. uh, the holographic chart projector on top of the uh, planetary probe room. So it kind of, it kind of gives that, that, um, decoration part of function makes it look like it has a function anyways so that's yeah. that that's kind of the two big the big updates to this thing and then there's a i mean this isn't anything new this is probably killing me on the parts as well for this thing but there is oh that didn't take me to where i thought it would take me oh oh i went too far over this one forgot i extended that and there's like a little kind of dining hall with stuff. R reminds me of a chow hall. Yeah. That's something. Um, have you done the uh, weekend mission yet? No, no, I haven't. You want to head over there? I haven't been on all day. I mean, we could. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe well, we nothing get, better to do. Get on the same page. See if anyone pops in. If uh, we get a couple more folks, we can start shooting each other. Yeah. Oh, I'm being a tech boy signals. Oh, that's you. Boy. Ah, uh, they should have left me alone. I went to the anomaly. No, I haven't been doing missions just because I have pretty much everything I want from Quicksilver. Yeah, I don't... I've told you this before. I don't usually do them, especially because of the, uh... GD, you should make a guided tour video of your freighter, then challenge another creator to do the same at the end of the video. I don't know, like, I don't feel like anything I do on my freighter is, like, too crazy. I, like, I want to do a crazy build on my freighter. Um, you know, I'm just like everyone else. I just watching people bum videos, trying to figure out how to do stuff. And there's some, he does some really crazy stuff that I just, I've tried a few and then I just gave, <laughs> gave up. Like, um, like you using teleportation wires as as guides. Like I, for some reason, I just it it just it's beyond me. I don't know. I should probably stop trying to do it when it's like two in the morning. Probably be helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Who are unearthing ancient bones? <laughs> yeah, we are. Knew that was coming. Oh, ready up. Did I? No, I was talking to myself. Oh. You're ready to go. Mission started. I'm scared. Scared you know, of I, bones. I still haven't uh, found that last damn part that I need, or um, treasure that I need. Weak. Yeah, I know. I don't know what, what is it. Do. I don't know. It's like, uh, it's the one in the middle. I keep looking on. Oh, it's for an achievement. Well, you know, it's in your wonder catalog when you're under treasures. Oh. I never I, look at anything. <laughs> I was on with Thorn the one day, and I was kind of trying to fill in the blanks, and I think I had three things I was missing. 
Have I tried oh, yeah. um, No Man's App since the update? I've, I've used No Man's App since the update, but I haven't noticed it update itself as far as um, the new parts and stuff. I, I've used it for traveling. I'm trying to think the last time I used it for travel. I mean, relatively recently, like in the last couple of days anyways. So probably not for... Um, uh, what just came out? Four, five? Or... Six, four, six, six, four, five? Just <laughs> can't remember the, I can't remember what number update we're on. Um... Other than that? I think there's a smaller patch fix that just recently came out. I think. Did I make that up? Oh, maybe I mm. did. Oh, no, we're still six, four. All right. I lied. Oh, maybe it's on um, experimental right now. Yeah. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Yeah. All right, man. Time to unearth some bones. Oh boy. There's a couple of, of the rarities that I haven't found either. I'm still looking for a collided planet, but I'm not looking as actively. Okay, wondering if it's just me got a blue screen now. Oh, I hope not. Let me look at the oh, feet. Let me loot. Looks good to me. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah, looks good to me too. Anything is possible. said that you discovered this one. Sure did. Oh, hold on. Before we go any further, let me turn back on all of my stuff from the video I made earlier. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I guess I can't. Never mind. All right. Yep. Dip -dip, dip -dip -dip -dip. I found some bones. Oh. They're 800 units away. Mine are nine. Oh, Thunder, are you talking about on uh, in your game or on the on the stream? It says I'm on PS4, so maybe. Uh oh. Wait, where did my tag? Is oh, that great, it? we got ourselves a stormy. Oh, no. Got me bones here. I tagged some bones and then I just came to your bones. Don't come to my bones! Oh no. Didn't I tag bones? Oh dear you. These are my bones now. Um, you leave my bones alone. <laughs> oh, I'm on restart. That's not gonna do it. Oh, there's lots of bones. So many bones. Don't eat meat. That's an old song, isn't it? I don't know. Easy. Thinking of it. I'm trying to think of the name. Oh, I see what you're saying. I'm sorry. When you uh, when you use No Man's App, you get the blue screen. Um. You know, I, I did have a bot crash uh, doing something. Took my bones. What? No, it's community bones, man. We're, in a, we're on a team. Did you get? Yeah, but them? those bones were mine. I gotta find my own bones. I've been boned. <laughs> I got boned. Oh, I forgot I can just keep flying because of the uh, storm. Nice. 
Hey, welcome. Hey, hey, hey. Are we chasing the same, all the same bones? <laughs> I know you keep PvP on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't, that's right. I don't. <laughs> I might have, uh, I oh, know I don't have hazards off because I'm losing health from the uh, storm. Leave Is that my it? bones alone. Wait, how far away are your bones now? I don't know. The star castle of the void eyes has entered the system. Look at that. Of the void eyes. Ooh. She sees through their eyes. I'm still a little far away. A little further. A little too further. My, uh, I just watched uh, Kung Fu Panda 4 oh. with uh, with the kids. Mm -hmm. So I have the, uh, the the song at the end of that movie stuck in my head. Where's my mind? Oh, there it is. Which is Hit Me Baby One More Time, but sung by Jack Black. Um, oh. Yeah. Hmm. Two more. Extreme night temperature detected. Oh, it's far away. You son of a bitch, what are you doing here? Get away from me. <laughs> I ran all the way over here only to find out you already got these bones. Can't you see my player icon? Alright, I'm headed to one that's about? this No, way. actually I can't. Oh, do I, I can't have my icon? That's weird. Oh yeah, on foot marker to no one. Whoops. Trying to get bones over here. You keep taking my bones. Feel it in my bones. Um. Yeah, my bad. Now it's just <laughs> now it's just cold. Oh, I know what I did. I know what I went to. Uh, I used No Man's App to. Uh, to for the location transfer because I've been working on this video um, about this for this new series called lore theory and it's just like just like critically thinking about theories that I've heard or that are online and stuff like that for no man's sky and there's one which I've talked about before you know how I just can't keep anything too close to my chest um, what about Emily Warren and like what role she may be playing in the game currently? Um, so finding all of the Easter eggs for like No Man's Sky stuff from way back then, like we visited um, some planets from um, the Dreamers from God, I think it was is, it, not, is it Alex the Dreamer that did the uh, that did the comms or, or discovered planets? Mm -hmm. I, I don't remember. Uh, but we went to some of those old um, mm -hmm. Waking Titan Season 2 era yeah. planets. Well, I found that there was some some comm uh, stations from around the same time, a little bit earlier. And I wanted to see if they were still alive. So I went to like three or four of them. And they're not. But that was the last time I used that. Alice just joined the server. Welcome, Alice. Feel free to hop on if you want. My No Man's Sky friend code is in the uh, bottom of the screen right next to my face. Over over, he over here. There. If you want him to take your bones. <laughs> I'm a bone stealer. Watch out. Um, I wonder what all these comm stations are telling me about here.
I'm gonna go to one of these comm stations and I just hope it doesn't say like bones or something. Bones. Like, oh, there's bones here. There be bones buried here. I almost did this um, in VR today. Oh, this is just. Ooh. When are you gonna quit that VR stuff? It's a uh, fad. I'm telling you. It's a fad. It'll be gone in a week. Indeed. I mean, it, you're probably not too far off the mark there. <laughs> I don't know how much they're, <laughs> how much more they're supporting PSVR. No, I don't know. <clears throat> Haven't seen a lot of movement on it. All right. Well, this. Now one, that they have Neuralink going, the whole VR headset thing seems obsolete. Yeah, you, you know, it's it's going to be all, again, Wake and Titan Season 2. That's all. Yep. Because that ended just that ended just fine. Archive, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I came all the way over here for that. All right, well, time to turn in, turn in some, uh, some quests, I guess. Well, unfortunately, I have to bid you adieu, dude. You have to bid me a doo doo? A doo doo. <laughs> a doo. I just got a, a text as I'm, I'm about to leave. So. I got Wait. stuff going on. Oh, okay, okay. Real life things. Uh, no worries. Real life. Well, you enjoy that Quicksilver. You earned it. <laughs> oh, you're not turning yours in? Turning what in? You took all the bones. Wait, aren't we on a team though? Not anymore, we're not. I, I thought we, like, don't our bones... Don't we, like, have a collaborative bone uh, pile? We we might have, but I've already logged off, so... Oh, all right. So Let's see how it is. Yeah, I got I got about. All, all right, right, man. Well, have a good night. Take it easy. Thanks for hanging out. Enjoy the stream. Bye -bye. Uh, Furball says, did they ever resolve the Dreamer storyline, or are they just stuck somewhere out in the simulation forever? Um, they they did resolve it. Um, the dreamers. So if you don't know, it's, I mean, it takes a little bit of. Uh, I'll turn these in real quick. Oh, did I just do that? No, I did it. Right, right. What? Did I? Totally messed that up. Was I supposed to take those bones somewhere else? I'm sorry. I bet you I probably was. Uh, oh well. Oh, I totally messed it up. Anyways, it's okay. Whatever. Um, so the dreamers, they, uh, the dreamers were people who use this, uh, wear this neurological interface to, uh, that, that works on lucid dreaming and it uses the, um, processing power of the human brain to, to, you know, as a GPU essentially, um, all really cutting edge tech that's all just fake and doesn't exist. So, um, the dreamers were test subjects who got, who were, who were testing this, um, technology and got stuck in like a, a lucid dream. Their bodies were like in a coma, but their minds were stuck in Myri uh, Myriad, which was the cloud service, which runs off satellites, the SATCOM system that they had. So they were basically stuck in satellites. And now some of those dreamers were stuck. Um, you could reach them by doing different things. Um, each dreamer had a specific thing that, that the community was doing to elicit a certain emotion to stabilize them so they can be extracted. Um, some of those dreamers, or at least one of those dreamers, um, was in No Man's Sky, like finding planets and stuff. Um, so the... Oh, you have to just drop off the bones at a contact, but I totally, uh, I totally just jumped out of that <laughs> uh, quest. It's okay. Uh, I posted a video about about how to get stuff from Quicksilver without just saving Quicksilver. If you have enough to buy the most expensive item, you can buy everything. Um, and I do that a lot, so I'm, I'm not too concerned with the Quicksilver. Anyways, so um, 
so for the dreamer storyline all these dreamers are stuck and um the community stabilizes them and then loop 16 which is the like a precursor to the atlas it's uh, uh a version of this ai that exists in like our timeline relatively speaking uh it starts extracting dreamers at the very end the last dreamer who's a child a boy named toby uh it's stuck and it runs out of resources loop 16 again spoilers loop 16 reallocates all of her resources uh to the system to extract toby successfully but in the process she sacrifices herself and so loop 16 is emily warren look at the markers I got a lot of markers, but uh, I'm not in that system anymore. This is my uh, my home system. I I ended the uh, thing, that mission. Um, Emily Warren is Loop 16, and that is who they're wondering if she somehow escaped her fate instead of sacrificing herself. Did she? Um, make it into the simulation somewhere. And a couple interesting things about that is she was, uh, there's a, a period of time during Waking Titan Season 2 that she was um, offline from some corruption that happened because of the Dreamers thing. And she, when she came back online, she started kind of spouting out certain um, I can hear some music. I'm trying to find it. Ah, there it is. Uh, she started rattling off some some lines of dialogue that you get from travelers and stations and stuff like that. So there's some indications that she was, in fact, in No Man's Sky. Uh, really interesting stuff. There might be something there. That video may be out next week. It may be another week. I'm trying to be more consistent with my, my weekly videos instead of working on the same video until it's done. I just try to get get one of the videos on my list uh, out by Wednesday. That's what I'm trying to do. It came out on Thursday this week, but best of intentions, right? Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, no, we haven't had, uh, we just missed Burger. Uh, oh, but no one else has put on, so we did the, uh, community mission, and, okay. uh... Is there a new one? Or the old one? It's, a, it's the weekend mission. Sorry. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Okay, yeah, I guess no one else showed up, and it's been busy lately, but that's how it goes. Hopefully, maybe some of show up. I was busy playing some Death Star, you know? Yeah, no worries. Sure sure destruction. No worries. For her game bounce. Um, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, last time, people came on kind of late. I can't be on too late tonight myself, because I got sure. drilled, but um, let's That's see if anyone pops on. No. The game is loud, man. Oh, no. Yikes. That happened. Yeah. I'm guessing you're still playing on. Yeah, no man's sky. Yeah, I mean, I'm just in a little bit of a trying to save a freighter. That's all. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Good on you. So what have you been up to, man? 
Uh, let's see. Like I said, playing playing that earlier, and I've been sick today, and just in general. Um, I need. I'm going. Oh no, a doctor's visit too. That's the for Monday. Something with my lungs. This happened before. Super pneumonia. Super pneumonia. It was, it was like necrotizing was actually the Oh. In the pocket in the lung that like bacteria was uh, hanging out in. Had to evict it. Get a pick yeah. line in my arm. And, um, a month of uh, three times a day IV. That's great. Dang. And obviously, I'm kind of a little bit worried because what that it could imply, if that's what it is, is that it didn't get well, meaning what's left is almost certainly antibiotic resistant. Yeah. Ah, so we'll see what happens. That's rough, man. Mm. Sorry about that. Mm, Good luck to you. It's okay. Yeah, thanks. Necrotic pneumonia uh, is no joke. Yeah, <laughs> necrotic damage. No, it, yeah, necrotizing, it's, uh, yeah, it's not good. Um, but how do I can recover? I've been recovering from a lot of um, pretty terrible <laughs> health problems, so this one for more. Come on, come on. Uh, there it is. <laughs> uh, I don't even know. Yeah. Oh, you're streaming on the YouTube. What's that? Um, no, I was just thinking to myself I was going to join your stream here, but then I was like, oh yeah, he doesn't stream here. Because why would he? You know, it doesn't make sense. Um, nah, 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 don't I worry about it. it. I got it. Oh, I mean, if you want to, I'm just join here. I could just be not lazy and join you on YouTube or you know, Twitch or something. <laughs> Jim, I um, I think I got the last. One. Where is this? Uh, huh. the, is this not the? That uh, can be. What, oh, are you're shooting the systems of the pirate ship or which one's this? No, this the is pirate. the. Uh, I know there's like the two ones. It's just a re this is just a regular system. Okay, so you're just like in, um, we're just saving it from a pirate raid. Yeah. Like, like people on ships. And... You could see the blue lights from this thing from afar. I will give them that the freighter rescue against the, uh, that's the big pirate dreadnought is pretty epic. Yeah, it's pretty gigantic. I like how they put a lot of distance between it, and that thing is just huge. Well, that really feels nice. I wish there were more, like, large scale pitched battles. You know, yeah, like Star Wars. It was like a little bit more, um. Not, not say difficult, but I guess complicated. Request payment. That, that sounds yeah, right. I know what you mean. Like, more like phase based. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Like, almost like you had to do certain objectives, and then that would lock the next set of objectives. And, you know, I, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. They, the, the biggest thing they have there is the, destroy the shield and then destroy the ship. That's it. Yeah, it's just that's, kind of the that's same, kind of the same as the Dreadnought, right? That's the same thing. And you're right, yeah, there's no, like, RNG to it, which is strange for them. Usually they have some elements of that, but that's, like, that's literally the same every time. The only difference is, like, the battlefield. Usually, that's it. That'd make a huge difference, too, if they have, like, asteroids in between. That's pretty cool. Makes it a lot yeah, harder. I mean, can... But it also makes you, gives you a lot of cover. You just can't get yeah. there as fast. It gives you stuff to run into as well. And I think right. the asteroids, um... Because they, they go away when a, a freighter, like, warps into them. Really? It would be nice if they Maybe did. I just got really unlucky, and it was on both sides, you know, of a thin layer of asteroids. So, there's, like, just barely missed despawning them. I don't know. I swear there was, like, a, a, a one time where I had to fight through an asteroid to get them. I mean, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't surprise me if something didn't didn't function the way it's supposed to. That's also true. It was very early, early on. Um, it made it interesting to go for the um, anti-frigate missiles. Yeah, I just ignore those usually. You just let them hit. <laughs> well, yeah, I just uh, I just go through the, I take out the engines, do the trench runs, and by the time you uh, killed it, right? By the time I get to the last of it, it's um. Damn. See, I was trying to destroy those because I feel bad. Uh, hold on, this might help with the treasure. Ta okay, hold on. For a balls on the something I feel like... in Discord. Oh, okay. Hold on. Heck yeah. Is this the same one that we had before, Furball? All right, let me let me just show. We were talking Ooh, about. I have this uh, in my wonders catalog under treasures. I have this blank, and it seems like a lot of people have it. Um, and I know what it's supposed <laughs> to be. It's supposed to be like a, uh, a, a delicate flora that's from the farm instead of something. Huh. Um, I cannot. What does mean? Yeah, this f farm and plant are the two types. This is the one that we were looking at before. Um, what does that mean then? 
it's, I think it's the source. I'm not really sure. Um, or oh. like which one I which one I have. Def Con. Oh, but by the way, sorry to. Uh, it, uh, you'll figure it out, I'm sure. But uh, as a side note, though, the game I was just playing, Def Con. That that's an interesting game. It's old by now, but and there's been other takes on it. But that's kind of like the original, like high quality one take on mm -hmm. it. Yeah, you know, the whole war games thing. Um, you ever saw that movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Great one, classic. But uh, you know, only when you move is not to play, right? But what if you had to play? And that's sort of, I like how it also is very much like you aren't a watching it so much as you are a direct contributor on some sort of terminal. But you're obviously in like a bunker. So there's nothing to kill you necessarily. You're kind of removed from the conflict, but not completely. And there's very much a human aspect there with like hearing people like cough around you or like you know mm -hmm. um, a groan when they see like a nuke impact um, wherever it doesn't even matter if it's your country just anywhere. And so every now and then you hear a woman coughing and sobbing. It's, huh. it's very uh, and with a haunting soundtrack, it's amazing. So it's, it's an experience. I think a lot of people should do. Uh, but it's funny because they had a test. Uh, like a scientific study where they had people read about like all this stuff involving nuclear war they had people play defcon on the other half mm -hmm. and they had completely different data for both sides on the side for defcon is the one i'll describe they were less likely to think they'd survive than the other half like they said if this happened they would most certainly perish but at the same time they were also even though they had more pessimistic take on it all they also thought it was less likely to even happen in the first place like it was more impossible hmm. uh, seeing that that first hand on a way how terrible it all was how like just seeing casualties in the registered in the millions um that's how you get your points but uh she's first he's like why would we ever do this you know I, we would never let this happen because this is what would happen and everyone would die. well the tagline you know when the bomb drops everyone dies yeah they had that quote too, in a, in a way, in um, Iron Giant. Mm -hmm. I love that movie. Did you know that Vin Diesel played the giant? I didn't. Did yeah, I? He does. I... Yeah, he does. He uh... plays Groot, and he also plays the giant. Yeah, he's a big yeah. nerd, even though he's maybe like, I, maybe he plays I, like, I, he has a, yeah. And it feels really familiar, actually, when you say it. He has his favorite characters in D and D. Like, he, he's a cool guy. Oh, nice. Yeah. I he's am. Good. Sorry. Um... Oh, you're good. Furball uh, posted something in the Discord about um, the artifacts and where to find them. Uh, so my brain started thinking about that. And where yeah. the hell am I? Oh. Artifacts, like so the blank one. What what is that? So the blank one is it's another flora. There's two types. One of them says, "Wait, is this is not where I think it's supposed is to." Is it take. just like a glitch, or is there like a like a hint of a feature there, or what's going on? Why is it not taking me where I? want it to take me. Do you think they tweaked something? Oh, it's just doing this again. Every now and then, if you get into multiplayer, um, at, at least it happens to me. I get into multiplayer, then I try to use, uh, use a teleporter on my freighter, and it, the, the teleporters are all jacked up, like it's taking me to the oh. wrong thing. Oh, whoa, that's weird. Yeah. So I want to go into this building. I'll report get that bug. It's happened a few times where, like, no matter what teleporter I go into, huh. I always end up in the same spot. Oh, really? Like lead to that spot? I, my, oh, I'm gonna run out of jetpack, aren't I? Oh, no. no. Okay, no. No. <laughs> I'm trying to get to my uh, my farmer. It says that you're uh, you can get this treasure from the farmer or um, from freighters. Uh, afraid of rewards or ancient ruins. I remember going through ancient ruins and trying to find Are you find saying them. it's a blank because you haven't gotten it yet? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't. Okay, that's what I wasn't getting. Okay. So you have all the rest of them. This is the one you're missing. And you're trying to mm -hmm. find it. I get you now. Okay. I thought it was like you're saying like there was something that was there, but now it's not. Or like it like popped up. It's a blank. Okay. Makes more sense. And I've done a few of these, but I've never um, been successful. Hmm. When's the community day again? Is that Saturday? The community one? Yeah. No, it's today. It's you're in it. Oh, this is, this is the community. Oh no. Yeah. There's nobody. Uh, nobody came on today. 
Burger oh, came on. It was good to see Burger. You're here. That's good. Yep. Um, yeah. I know that everyone's been kind of busy lately. It's fine. Yeah. We should. Um. I'm gonna be on playing. I'm playing. Regardless. Um, but oh, 100%. Right, eventually, we maybe we do. I, did I ask you, Alexa? No. No, I did not. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. Uh -huh. Um. It's okay. We should eventually uh, on Community Day. There's a few games I think we could have a lot of fun with and be very entertaining. You know, to be watching, uh, like, mm -hmm. uh, like I said, I have that all thing planned out for Barrow Trauma. I have a mod list that's curated that will work really well for it. We have two different adventures we can pick. You know, I, I talked about that. Um, a lot of people here have it too because well, I bought it for a lot of them. <laughs> but uh, uh, obviously, I have it. Um, also, another one. Um, we, you, you talked about Hell Divers. You have that one. We can do I have other things that one day. Yeah, that'd be fun. I'd love yeah, that. Usually, I'm like, sorry I missed the last one. I try to do community night for um just for No Man's Sky stuff, and then on Sundays oh, I usually maybe do, I meant like, the a, other one. The free yeah, play what, one, yeah. You know what? That's what I meant. I meant the free play one. I, I don't know why I confused the community one. <laughs> oh, no yeah, worries. community is No Man's Sky. I meant the free play Sundays, yeah. That's yeah, what no, I free plays are... I, like I said, I do want to start doing other stuff um, for free play. I do tend to play a lot of No Man's Sky during that anyways. That's because oh, I like oh, the game. No. Oh, no, uh, it's sort like, of like more freeform, like, you know, so I get it. Yeah, like playing it in VR is a good or example. Something. Yeah. I don't want to do it something a lot different. on stream because it's probably hard for folks to watch, <laughs> I imagine. You'd be surprised. I mean, there's obviously YouTubers exist that do nothing but VR, so. True, true. Like, um, what is it, Operator Drewski does a lot or something? I usually or just feel cool like VR games. I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm too unstable in VR, so where I'm like looking around everywhere. <laughs> um, but you know, you're yeah, I don't know if they film it. a certain way, or if they just do it more organic, or if they have a way. Maybe they turn on the um, smooth camera or something. Yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying. How to make it like not give everyone like nausea? Yeah, especially when like it's, it's it gives me well, nausea. <laughs> no Man's Sky isn't the best example because well, it is and it isn't. On foot is fine. In the ships is like literally makes me so sick. Once it starts spinning and I can't control it because you gotta use the joystick, it's like oh my god, get me out of here. <laughs> So Furball says one type of plant category has numeric age in the description. The mm. other has a number of mutated genes. Oh. oh. Interesting. All right. Let me check it out when I uh, get done warping. Thank you. Yeah, um, oh, and technically, because we both have VR, we could do... Um, some sort of VR game that's only VR, and yeah. at least you and me would be able to um, play it multiplayer. There, um, I wouldn't say PvP would be a good idea, probably, and just something that's co-op. But as so much this... as I'd love us to play like Breachers or something, that'd be fun. Yeah. So, so this one has the age. That's that's what this particular type of flora is. That so there's two types of flora in your treasures. This one has the age. So apparently, I've never come across one that has mm. genes. Gene uh, oh. mut mutated genes. Yeah. I wonder where the hell. All right, I'm gonna try to find some stir bulbs Mutant for my uh, for my guy. It's a delicate flora. Yeah, there's but it's two. There's two different types of delicate flora. Yeah, there's P L N T or plant. Yeah. And farm. Interesting. And do you know which ones you have? Do we know what exactly it is we're trying to find? No, it's not super clear. Um, oh, Furball's kind of given a... That's probably the most um, guidance on it that I've seen so far. Looking right. for a, a number of mutated genes versus the age. Because I have been sending my, my frigates out to try to get, try to get something, hoping that maybe it'll, it'll just pop randomly. Oh. And it doesn't. Hey, okay, so there's a section of the... I think it's going to be a... Go back. Hold on. Uh, what's this section? Plant that has a whole section called mute with the prefix mutated. Uh, mutated something cultivar, mutated buckwheat berries, mutated churn rose nuts. Mm. Yeah, we, did, we just have to find where to like where do you find those? Like, oh, okay, fair enough. Well, let me see if there's a guide here in somewhere in this article. I see some of them have IDs, but some of them don't. Interesting. Oh, they have, they have images, though. That's kind of cool. 
I'm not above uh, just going to a system that has one somewhere, but <laughs> I don't know how you... Like, the, for the description I saw, I'll say... Um, they all say, uh, like, you use the farmer and use your ancient ruins and stuff. Although, thinking about mutated genes and, like, I guess getting it from the farmer makes sense. And if I'm being honest, I don't do a lot of farmer missions, typically, you know? Oh, that's fair, yeah. So that you, I mean, apparently there's the... no rare artifacts within the farm category. Oh, well, at least they're not worth anything if there are. That's weird. I hear it saying there's 0, 0.0 or total value of artifacts within the rare oh, category, right. delicate flora farm. Oh, mission target. Okay. Weird. Where did I just put my ship there? So it's only common or uncommon. So once you... Like find wherever this is. It shouldn't be that hard to get. Like, okay. yeah, it always gives you like the most, the most rare one that you have always shows up there. And the fact that I don't have any, anything in that slot. Oh. What? I've okay, so no, it says there's six of them, but they're not worth anything. Could that be like, like the rare ones you get are like quest items or something like that? Yeah, page each artifact type only lists the top five discoveries per rarity. Hmm. All right. Um, I'm gonna do Artifact something. Research page. Oops, wrong door. Hmm. Well, artifact system in general. Working. I'm looking it up. See if I can find you any data. How about I? Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I know what, what? I do. I'm gonna catch pin this guy in. What do I need first? Hold up. Instead of having to like try to run all the way, because nothing's, uh, none of my, um, what do I want to use? Oh, you'd be a good one to ask this. Which one comes first, next or beyond? Uh, um, I forget which one was first. I don't know. I, I want to say next was first, right? Cause right? But, like, that's so vague in a way. It could be either. But was there you, anything I, between... I um, so they meant, the ones no, they yeah, mentioned are yeah, next, next, was, next was... Was next. Okay. I'm pretty sure next, next, was, next was next. Visions Beyond is what they're listed here. Okay. Because next introduced multiplayer, and that was... Next is what came okay. out. That was 1.3. That came out. That was the Waking Titan season two. You know what? Season You're right. One and was that Atlas was when they, they had a proper multiplayer because before that they just had like little sparks. Yeah, yeah. Where Proto is this multiplayer. Thing I'm for? Oh, there it is. I wonder if that was more stable than what we got now. <laughs> multiplayer be multiplayer. And then beyond, I believe, was just sort of like a a third pass. All that. Yeah, Furball says reward for opening large artifact crates found in ancient ruins, completing missions, completing explore, uh, exploration type expeditions with uh, frigates. Oh, exploration specifically. Um, what was... Or completing daily tasks given by the farmer. Yeah, but they both both categories of uh, treasure, plant treasures say that, right? Hmm. I, fe I have a good feeling about the farmer quests. We'll try some Apparently more of that. It really was next that added the farm quest stuff. Oh, okay. So before, uh, it was um, biological... Oh, so that's a long time ago. That's, I guess, when they did it. You know, one of the biggest updates, though, but it came out a whole year later, was um, uh, Atlas Rises, I believe. It was a massive update. Yeah, it was like the... That was the like first the one? first big one, yeah. Yeah. They had patches up to then, but they didn't have, like, updates. That was the first free update that started it all, in a way. Um... And that was after a whole year, but they, was, they were working on it. I kind of figured, that, as from what I heard, they were. I kind of felt bad about what had happened. Um, there he is. You know, with the All launch. Right. Like, right. people were just writing it off like it was just going to disappear, and then look where we are now. Well, Atlas Rises is what introduced, like, the lore, really, of Romance right. Sky. Yeah. The proper lore. They had, like, some basic stuff before, but it, it was not fleshed out. Oh, is he not going to um, let me... Hey. I do kind of like the old lore in a way. Not, I'm not saying it's better. I'm just saying for what it was, it wasn't bad. 
like even for as little as there was it was a nice story I thought and that ending was very poignant I, I liked that some people didn't like that some people thought that was like a negative thing I'm like what what do you mean it's beautiful in a way did I lose my uh, quest uh, maybe I messed something up when I just. Plus, I believe the game was a lot harder than. Like, remember, like biological horrors being like super lethal. Yeah. Um, and just how combat was so basic back then that even though they only had like two types of, um, or th did they have quads there? I think they might have had quads, but I think that was it. Did they have walkers then too? I don't remember. It's, I know they didn't have mechs at the start. Yeah, I forget which units existed then. Well, initially it was really just. The regular sentinels. Just sentinels, and they, I guess being... they just sent more of those and more armored ones. Is what it was. Remember, it was like the one they sent the the initial ones, right? They just, just kind of scan around. If you attacked them and blew them up, they, the next wave would come with like a few more of them. And I think mm -hmm. the third wave they started sending armored ones. Had the plating, you had to use the mining tool to break before you could actually attack them proper. And I think that was before there was like any weapons besides maybe the boltcaster. I don't know, what, what was the weapons like back in the day, too? Was it just the Bullcaster? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was like the um, Bullcaster was like your actual gun gun, and then the laser was like, you could do that too if you had really high mining speed. It actually did a lot of damage back then. That it evil is coming to PS Plus. Oh. And game Yeah, the Triple I thing happened recently. Huh. What's that? The Triple I initiative? So it's sort of like E3, but virtual, but for indie games only. Now, a lot of big titles were shown off. We got, like, news for, which, let's see, uh, a lot of Risk of Rain 2 news, which I'm really happy about. There's actually a, just a free update coming out for the game, a major one, before the DLC that ties into it. That's going to be amazing. I love that game. Um, so Risk of Rain 2 getting massive update. And, then, of course, you know, the funny, you know, prisoner dude from, uh, from Dead Cells is going to be an old skin. He's in like every game now, just like Funny. Shovel Knight was before him. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of games that are like, there's multiple games that are in both, they're both in the games. Oh man, that aren't even their own games. Shovel Knight and um, the Dead Souls Prisoner. Yeah, tried, they're, they're kind of adding him as a skin. Interesting. I tried, um, um, which one? Glitching in a uh, farmer Ooh. closer to my freighter so I didn't have to run <laughs> all the way across and it messed up my, uh, <laughs> No. It messed up the progress from the no. mission I was on, so now I gotta do a whole new one, and it's fungal mold. I must imagine so. Sucks. You gotta restart from the big up bottom of the hill. Uh, I probably have to set the jump systems. I watched one where someone was trying to get a village, like, or, or a villager in Minecraft, from what the village it was in to the base they had. Mm hmm. And they had to build this whole rail system up a hill and like down the other side, and they were just about to crest the top of the hill when they glitched through the the um, villager on an incline, and it rolled all the way back down. <laughs> that stinks. Uh, you, they just watched it. They didn't even try and chase it. They just watched it. It just went all the way down. Oh no. One must imagine Steve beating the game. <laughs> All right, come on, fungal mold. You're something. I do have um, frigates out right now, but I don't anticipate them getting back anytime soon. Oh, they oh yeah, the, the, the new frigate system looks cool. And how you can, like, defend them now? Yeah. I like that a lot. Like, they get in trouble and you have to come kind of save their butts. Ah, there we go. This is pretty on brand. I haven't had one where I, like, where you warp in and you fight off their attackers, which I don't know if that's the thing. It seems like it is. Um, I have gone and fixed them in other systems. I think Ooh. last stream, um, I don't oh, remember who in, the, who in the chat was like, go, go help them. And I warped into their system <laughs> and repaired them in the middle of the mission so they could keep going. Oh, and he's cool. in the chat. Oh, that's what, hey. I didn't hear the, Yo, the what's tone. what's up, gangsters? What's going on, Eddie? <laughs> It was good. Man, I'm actually home on a Friday night this weekend, so nice. excellent. <laughs> no welcome to the chat. It's gamer time. I am trying to find 
real gamer the last hours. rare the last rare treasure or uh wonder for my catalog oh my god the the uh, magical yeah the magical MacGuffin. yeah right it's gotta oh, be got here one somewhere MacGuffin left. one MacGuffin left to find and then you've got all the MacGuffins. There we go. All right, I got my fungal mold. I'm gonna warp in my freighter. Hopefully, it doesn't mess it up. <laughs> so I, uh, I recently watched this guy play like a uh, hundred hours of No Man's Sky. He like uploaded about a week ago. Um, he does a lot of the lore and a lot of the side missions, and hmm. sounds familiar. It, 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 listening to the story and watching him play I came up with just a, a theory on No Man's Sky okay right. and it and it and it may have already been said but it kind of just made me think about it so it's definitely a simulation now oh, yeah. now the atlas to my to my knowledge it's just right. my feeling has at some point been doing the simulation for so long, for so long that it got bored that it started to create the travelers yeah it said that it, that's it, part of part of part of it yeah they, they um had to press yes so it, it got so lonely that it did that now when it talks about like the first travelers and you know kind of like the ancient people and for example like no no oh, yeah the he, first. I, and this is why I think the Atlas is evil because no, no wanted to appease the Atlas in any type of way. You know, he wanted to be recognized by the Atlas, in which the Atlas itself was lacking that appreciation from its creator. Right. Yeah. yeah that's like, you know, to do a layer, right? It did, it got like kind of spurned as it thought, and then it did it the same to its creation, right? Right. And so. Cool. No kind of appeared a little evil in the story because you're like, wait a minute, oh, this he, dude's taking... other travelers. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay, wait. So he takes these souls, but right. you get contacted like throughout the story by like some of the like the random people where they're like, "Oh, we're watching you. Don't listen to the Atlas. If you go to the middle, it restarts the you know the it, it restarts and kind of I guess kills them in a way or you know loses them somehow, but it, it just seems that Noel was taking the souls for a reason. Like, there has to be that reason. And at first I was thinking, like, damn, dude was just doing it to be evil, but <laughs> I think he was doing it more as a there simulation that was able to... Purposefully. Yeah. Yeah, to, to take control. Like, you know, like, you give a simulation, you know, orders, but if the simulation started to think and, you know, move on its own... Well, it is said that maybe um, Atlas has shrugged off its duties, so perhaps he's trying to take control to like take control of the simulation to maybe keep it going somehow. Who knows? Well, that's an interesting you, idea for you're, sure. You're like really close to a lot of um, like the kind of the common tropes of it too. Like the Atlas is really old. Like it. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. So it's it's because it's you know it's having an existential crisis, right? It's yeah. It's yeah. being it's it's sort of like you know I I always say that I relate to it because it's something that happens when you get to a certain age, like you hit forty, you start having yeah. these existential crises, crises about like, yeah. hey, you know what? I'm gonna die. So it's <laughs> well, it's, yeah. current, it's currently uh, ha having those same existential crises. Um, you think of your but, own mortality. But it's trying to figure out why did its creator leave it. That's and so you right, can yeah. find it in the in the uh, the rogue data in the remembrance terminals. Um, all of right. the all of the the lore that's there says that like it's experiencing rampancy. Like it is it is yeah, uh, degrading. Corrupting its own purpose and, and now, degrading. And now it's like, hey, like why? It's not why did they leave? Because it knows, right? It knew that that the planet was was you know impending doom and uh, right. it created its own the uh, physical location where it resides yeah, yeah. it knew why but it was it wanted to know how could it like uh, right, i was about to make that yeah me? you made that distinction i thought that was great it's like it's not that it doesn't know like why it, it was left it was because the planet was about to be destroyed but it's like yeah. how could its creator do that to it knowing 
that it's a thinking, feeling, be, you know, being, being. Being. Like, yeah. Being. So before right. the creator <laughs> left the planet, it asked the it asked the Atlas, you know, do you want to stay on or do you want me to shut you off? And it said, I want to stay on, to but yeah. it said, I want to stay on, but will you let me scan you? And the creator, Which is odd. Why? The creator what wondered. Is, maybe so. Why why scan me when you can just simulate me? Because you can right. create perfect simulations. So it scanned the actual creator. And it's those scans that it uses to create the travelers. And it does that to see to to learn from us to find out if it can it can see through us yeah. through watching us. Why if it can determine why, why yeah. it could possibly leave it behind. And I never thought of that too. It's like it's studying us to learn the behaviors and divine why it was left, or why, how somebody could leave someone behind. What what are yeah. the circumstances that would allow someone to do something like that? And it doesn't understand, and it's super depressed about it, and the whole thing. Yeah. And it's such a smart machine and powerful machine that it can determine the exact time of its death up to like right as it happens. But then it can't see, it can't see that step, particular yeah. moment, and it can't see past it, which is kind of interesting. Did it die there, or is there something else going on? Perhaps? Doesn't it doesn't know. really know. But the stuff with Null, you're yeah. you're spot on too. Like Null was the one that was like, well, first off, Null says in that storyline that it it did these things to extend its own life because it, mm -hmm. you know, the idea was that it would never be able to survive long enough to to. Uh, explore its own universe so it did these right. things it devoured souls it augmented its body so that it could mm. stay alive long enough to see everything and then it did right and, and then, then it kind of yeah it like, finally mm, actually does the thing that's impossible yeah it explores the entire universe galaxy it's in and like that but that goes to tell the outlets this great accomplishment and then at the other is like yeah that, yeah, that's pretty cool and that's part yeah. of the uh that's part of the irony there is it, it you know it, at mm. the end of it it, your, the last bits of your conversation with Null in the main storyline, uh, it talks about like how all of these things that I've done must be for something, like it can't be for nothing. Right. And then uh, it tries to sad. talk you out of, out of going to the center because it, in in their mind, when you go to the center, everything gets wiped out. You're resetting the universe. Everything gets wiped yeah. out. So that's what it thinks it did. When when Null went to the center, it wiped out its universe, and it believes that if you go. You will wipe it out. So. Um, oh, so it's not even so much that cares about the rest of the universe; it cares about itself. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Which makes sense. I mean, and it's not really evil to think that way in a way. Um. And, but and it's definitely yeah. consuming souls. That's totally something that's. It, that's, well, that's not great, right? But it is also right, doing I, so, perhaps in self-preservation at times. Consuming the arc is, is, what, is the actual, and I guess you could kind of. I was the definitely interpretation is that, too. yeah, is that yeah, is that literally consuming the arc? I mean, that's kind of how I took it when I read it. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't know; it's hard to say. Mm -hmm. It's definitely it's say, augmented yeah. itself to a point uh, of somehow, being kind of crazy. Yeah, very powerful. Yeah, and then they came out. Not the most powerful thing in the universe, but want the, uh, among them. Yeah, and. <laughs> And so kind of just and dissecting on all those points. So with the souls being captured and with everything being a simulation, technically nothing would really die. Oh, yeah. There's because it can problem, always right? be simulated again, right? It can always be simulated in some way, shape, or form. Isn't it well, and about that? And that's, you're, 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 right, you're right into the crux of, um, of the Void Mother. You know, like right. uh, data never Lord dies. That, that's its whole thing. Thing, right like you know everything falls right. to the world of glass it's archived away but that's the void mother's thing like if if everything is data if nothing is real then we'll right. never die. die and that's it you see all this yeah. these tropes about surviving the second death and so on and so forth um which kind of gets back to waking titan with the first death and um oh oh not, that was stuff. so uh sad of a story too it was a weird kind of out there one you know with uh, that boy getting in the machine the um, robot, or you know, the AI sacrifices itself to let yeah, him Toby. out instead. Mm -hmm. It had a chance to get like um, out itself, but instead it chose to let Toby out, knowing that um, they couldn't both go. And in a way, that's like one of the most human things you can do. And I think it realizes this as an irony. What well, something irony it says is, I just, I just wanted to be more like you, like being the, the people that were reading it, humans. Yeah, um, that one was, that one was hard to read. It was like, oh, it was yeah, let's right run. in a way, right? 
and so it that's what that's human. the crux of that whole theory is like because there's all these connections this connective tissue to no man's sky and waking titan obviously I, it's like the origin story for the atlas um did that ai loop 16 make its way into the simulation and part of that is because um there's this this little bit of lore and the i want to say it's the corvax colossal archive i think oh yeah where it says um you know the atlantid was a brain formed in the void mm -hmm. and there's an, another bit of of lore in the i think boundary failures or the sentinel it might okay. be the sentinel pillars that says that um the atlantid was was created based on an earlier version of the atlas which is what it says oh that's so, interesting too hmm also oh, what are the boundary failures those big giant portals they're basically just i don't know what they what they are supposed to be mechanically they're they're just like a, another terminal but they are what holds all of like telemon's data logs i wonder if they're supposed it, to be like um, weak points where you can cross between um universes I don't know. I know that Captain Steve had a had a theory about some of that as well. Like if that was going to be. I mean, the they're way very much shaped like through. a portal, right? Like yeah. a Stargate almost. Sure. It almost seems like a ship. Yeah, they look go like, through. They look like you can definitely go through them. But yeah, it's it's just how, so why are they that though. big though? That's the thing. It's like it almost feels know. like you'd get a frigate or a freighter or something through that. That's big. Right. Why are the the Atlas? Oh, maybe? Syndicate Five just subscribed. Thank you, Syndicate Five. Welcome to the channel. Yeah. By the way, you both. Um, well, Syndicate Five isn't. Uh, if you, I don't know if you, well, in Eddie's case, I don't know if the person you're describing is in fact ghost, but uh, if not, you should also check out his uh, his videos on the whole lore. He has a really nice way he's told it, and um, you know, very nice to listen to. Even if you're not looking at the stuff, you can at least listen or look at it too. Either way, and uh, very very comprehensive, um, very well paced, and uh, that's what got me here. <laughs> yeah, that's actually what got me here. Oh, it was, yeah, it, that, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's him. That's him. Doing, that's the dude. Because <laughs> I've been doing, like, a deep study on the game for probably about, like, about, like, a year and a half. And so I, I was knew. like, all right, let me kind of go back to seeing from, like, the beginning to see, like, what other people thought or what other people right. were getting and just of. Uh, and so, like I said, I've been dissecting it little by little. And <clears throat> my whole my whole theory always has been the Atlas is evil. Just because, yeah. <laughs> just because it has like nothing else to do, and so it creates these individuals and sends them out. It but... definitely seems a little malevolent, doesn't it? At times, like you'll hear in the lore that like wars happen and terrible atrocities happen, it does nothing about no, it. Sometimes yeah, it, it doesn't care. Helps. Or sometimes it does, in a way, get involved in a negative way. Even like it's crazy. It'll delete entire things that it doesn't like. It's definitely. I feel it's like it's going through the stages of grief. And, okay, and so no, and okay, and that's a perfect example. It's definitely going through its stages of grief and depression. And while it's doing that, that's on the flip side where you have Talamon that's tripping out and he starts right. telling some of the travelers weird stuff. But I mean, mm -hmm. well, we only heard really one case of it, but um, mm -hmm. Talamon trips out, but the travelers recently have never experienced that. Right. Um, I can't remember if it's Noel or Artemis, but one time when you make contact with them, um, and you're trying to find a location. I think it's Artemis, but um, he says he doesn't know the races. Um, he never heard of the races, and it's in one of the lords. I'm trying to think. That's a um, there's, um, there's, there's, well, if there's the um, the uh, base computer, I think space computer archives, or the abandoned oh. building archives, whichever one where they, Maybe, they yeah. go into the world of glass. Um, they talk about races that are there that they've never encountered. And it's all because of oh. that whole, again, the rampancy of the Atlas. Right. Consolidated if it was to the triad down, of, yeah, yeah, to three different races. However, before there was some talk, right, that they got cut down from, like, a multitude to, like, mm -hmm. then, like, eight, then, like, four, or, yeah. like, six, then four, then finally just the three. And I think you know, that's, with, that's with part the of the boundary. Races. I think that comes out in the boundary failures because Telemann's, as a subroutine, Telemann's original reason right. for living was to was to look for rampancy in the atlas yeah and so you know, telemon was saying yeah. like hey this is Corruption. this is a thing that we're seeing that you know is showing the potential of you know this is this means rampancy. this is bad this is, this is, this is, this is, is not good and, to be and brought at. its case to the atlas and the atlas just didn't care 
and it was like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> well, another thing that's really interesting about about um, that whole relationship, I guess, is it for yeah. how how t how the Atlas treats Telamon more like a right. more like a sibling than anything else, right. than a part um, of itself. Yeah. And then a it, unique entity and underneath itself in a way, not like in a. Not in a necessarily bad way, but just obviously it, it does, you know, like a little sibling, right? Like, right. Yeah. Like a part of it. <laughs> it's a piece of him or it, I guess. Yeah, but he sees that as a different thing, not himself, and also, he, like, you know, he doesn't see it on the same level. You can tell. Right? It's something he's created, but he, it, it exists um, outside we of the simulation. For him. Right, it, it exists. Atlas something... is interesting. Interesting thing. And so there's still that whole unresolved, um, for me anyways, like, I, like, where does the Atlas exist in relationship to, um, Loop 16, you know, like, again, originally we thought that, hey, it's the distant future, because Earthlings have, have been gone for a millennia, but how are, how are they inter interacting with No Man's Sky? Yeah, in, there's, yeah, there's some weird things there. Um, there's some timey wiminess happening that <laughs> wibbly wobbly. And there's but, uh, some like there's some stuff too where it's like super lum lumina was like a communication tool for ta going communicate through time, but they only ooh. they only it was only like a year. It was like 2018 to 2017. Uh, it, huh, wasn't so it wasn't like that. It wasn't That's like back communicate but... back and forth and stuff. Weird. Yeah. Also, the, uh, so another thing I want to mention is the actual physical like body the atlas sort of has not like as a person but just as that big construct mm -hmm. i don't think that's what it actually looks like i think that's what it sees it so sort of as or as great as it's like avatar i well, feel just, like it is representative of what it looks like yeah i mean well, maybe do we, do, we, do we ever actually see the atlas no i feel like yeah, no, i thought i it thought it took that that shape on to look like a star on purpose like to look to bigger me, it looks like a terminal one of those black glass terminals, you know? Yeah. And then the red might be its eye. I mean, it, could, it could very well be. I think it's a representation of itself within its own simulation. I mean, and that sure. it does sort of resemble that, not as that big kite diamond thing, tetrahedron, whatever, but more just the concept of, like, a you know, a terminal with, like, maybe a camera with that big red, like, glowing eye. We don't have a, a really great description of the Atlas machine right yeah the only thing we know is that it, ha it has a lot of glass on it and it has two cameras on it yeah we and don't know ex what it looks like beyond that so it's very vague like, it could look like anything but that's sort of the one p details we do have and the most vague thing in the entire story though in my opinion is corva and there's what the heck is that what the know. heck the corva stuttered what does that mean and i don't know that it's we'll like, ever know to be honest right, it's like that's like going into a, a video game, right? And then all of a sudden, there's just like a dialogue text box, and it's just something like, "Remember the scent of mother." <laughs> like what? Oh, oh what, the, what does that mean? And yeah, whoops. And overall, the Atlas Corporation too, because they never really like. I mean, for a company to have this power to create yeah. simulations and do all this, do all this amazing stuff and team up with another company and create a, a, a headset that allows yeah, control and dreams and all this stuff. Like, yeah, I actually, mean... The thing that's funny about that is they didn't team up with that company to do that. So, yeah, it was sort of like a different... It, well, they never directly did. They just existed within the same... Well, it's... Earth. So, right. So that's the Myriad thing. was the cloud um, yeah. computing company yeah, that yeah. is a partner. It's, it's under their, their umbrella corporation. Umbrella. And yeah. Ware was just a company that was a client of Myriad. There's some link, so but it's not direct. They didn't know about what the link is. They didn't know about um, Ware's experiments until the um, the test subjects. There's certain I issues. Mean, so there's test subjects in, in Beijing and Sacramento, mm -hmm. and all of the test subjects in Beijing died. Um, Ooh, so I know that. Oh, the oh. where yeah. people were just uh, just a, a group that were u utilizing a service of one of their That's subsidiary cool. companies. How many of them were there? How many test subjects in Beijing? Uh, Twelve, I believe. 
I'm pretty sure like pretty that, sure that about that amount of people in the uh, space anomaly. Well, that, yeah, so the that's, dreamers on it like that, but they. I have a uh, I have a lore a uh, my top five favorite obscure lore things, and that's <laughs> one of the things I say is that there's twelve dreamers that existed, in, you know, in Sacramento that we had to pull out of the simulation or pull out of the satellite. Mm. You know, the right. ones that died in Beijing didn't make it in the satellite. They just, they disconnected from their service and they just died. Whereas huh. the one, the dreamers, their consciousness got caught up in Myriad. So there's a chance that there could be a correlation there. Um, Maybe. Um, well, here's a good way to tell. Two, the, the easiest way to tell is with the two that stay together. You know, if there's a theme there with any of the um, people that were in that test. Were there two that were twins or brothers or best friends or something that went on there? Because that would be those know, two. I don't remember if two... There were two that... I don't remember if, if two were actual brothers or if two were just friends. The one uh, who... I want to say Alex. I said this before. The one who actually was in-game discovering uh, planets was hmm. either friends with somebody or brothers with somebody. I don't remember which... Because you know what I'm talking about, the ones that are like don't really have a purpose for why they're there. Like everyone else has sort of does something for the most part, but those two together just sort of talk to you and talk to each other. That's it. Well, okay, the, the one another, that looks like an owl. Another. Uh, again, this is that same video, so you can go and look at these theories. But um, another really yeah, interesting yeah. part about that is there's this. Um, if you look at the the names of the so every time you know in during Waking Titan, um, you right. had to stabilize the people, and then they had these files of each of each person that was stuck, and one of the and one of the files it was corrupted, and it just gave you um, a number, Ooh. which ends in a T, and I don't know it off the top of my head, but it's sort of like an iteration number, right? Right. Well, right. that it that number appears at the very beginning of the game. When you what? first when you first go to the beacon at your ship, it says iteration oh. number, and then it gives you that number ending with a T, and that's, that's one of nuts. the one of the few things that exists in No Man's Sky from Waking Titan. That there's that oh, actual link. There's certainly everything a is, link. Everything is like from No Man's Sky, like everything is in Waking Titan. You know, No Man's Sky is mentioned in Waking Titan, but not a whole lot right. is mentioned from Waking Titan in No Man's Sky. And we know what No Man's Sky itself actually is. Like, as a, is it a game? Is it a simulation of a game? Is it a game of a simulation? Like, what? What is? There's a huge mystery here, and I feel like we have a lot of the pieces to solve. Maybe not all of them. And well, I think there's in, more to it. Than in Waking Titan, there. it's a, uh, it is a game. It's okay. so they, uh, but it's tricky because it's a game that is played. It, it exists on a couple levels in Waking Titan. So, right, right, um, yeah. Before it's before possible we that found it's out, like an, in it's a few different things, and and in each layer it's a different thing. I know what you mean. Yeah. Well, there's uh, we found out before we found out that Emily Warren was Loop 16. She was just. Um, uh, a moderator on a on a forum oh. for amateur radio people. We had no idea that she was actually a simulated entity. She was a real life person who had a vlog, and um, uh -huh. she talked in her Disappear. vlog about. <laughs> she did dis she did disappear um, on July fifth, twenty seventeen. Weird. Um, I wonder if the dates have any. There's got to be more to this. Well, their dates have meaning because it was a hint. It was a clue that she was not real. So oh, okay, yeah. she disappeared uh, shortly after a, a vlog post, her last vlog post, arguably. Oh. Because and you just and said 2017. You... Once yeah. again, that's another concept you've mentioned before. Sorry to interrupt, but uh, about how the Is timeline 20... kind of doesn't make sense. Oh, maybe it's eight, maybe it's 2018. I forget. Hold on. Well, it's what I mean by that is like there's like a huge jump at a certain point, which makes doesn't make a ton of sense. What do you mean? Well, like how the um, the Atlas, all, when all the stuff involving Loop 16, the Atlas, um, is going down, isn't that like in the future somewhere? I mean, the Earth is no. about to be destroyed. No, no, it's not. Oh, and that's a, that's the thing that, that I'm talking about with um, does the Atlas exist in a, another layer of simulation? Because all of does. Waking Titan happens 
So, uh, Elizabeth That's nuts, Layton... too, to think, like, the Atlas isn't real itself, it's also a simulation, but it's also oh. controlling the simulation that it makes, what the heck? Yeah, I mean, um, <laughs> so Elizabeth, no, Elizabeth Layton is the CEO of, of, um, the Atlas Foundation. She gives a speech at the Berlin mm -hmm. Symposium in 2014 that announces that they're gonna do some work with AIs to try to prove right. simulation theory, oh, or to test funny? simulation theory. So it starts in 2014 funny? on our planet, and then uh, Waking Titan ends in 2018. And right. so at no point in time has the, like, the Atlas would have had to been created, developed into the current iteration, and then a millennium was, had to go by while it was simulating everything. So, like, how, how are also people interacting name. with the game back, you know? Right. The name also brings into question stuff, because apparently the names do have a lot more meaning than we think, like, like how the Atlas, Telebon, and... Um, Atlantid are all the same name, just different versions of it. Yeah, they all they um, all mean the same. Waking Titan, because if you look at the mythology, right? Atlas was a Titan, wasn't yeah. he? Well, they're all. And he holds all, up the weight of the world. It's all great based on Greek gods and. Yeah, Waking. Oh well, yeah, well, all, all of it is. So I wonder if that's there's a reason for that too. But um, so Waking Titan, waking at the Atlas. So it had to be woke up from what though? Why was it sleeping? That implies it already existed. Was well, that mean it, turning it, it on? I think the name implies that it's the origin story of. I mean, you do you literally do wake up Loop Sixteen during, during, um, season two. Like it. So and here. So here's the thing we were talking about before. Um, Emily yeah. Warren goes yeah. missing on July fifth, and then you find mm. you found out during Wake and Titan season two that. Loop 16 was in hibernation mode starting on July 5th. That was like one of the oh. clues that that she was, you know, she was. I don't just, remember that. I mean, I didn't, reveal. I, I didn't. I didn't. I I don't. I wasn't playing at the time of Waking Titan. I really wish I was. I was. I only know because I'm doing a video on it. So I've been reading this <laughs> stuff nonstop this week. Of course. No, I was I there have um, for a lot of that. I didn't solve head. the puzzles, but I did the path that when people had solved it, you could just still go do it. Mm -hmm. um, really, that's how I got the Atlas Pass as well. The Atlas Pass V4. Um, and yeah, there was quite something, seeing all the different links and data, like little, little references and tiny little things you see in like scrolling text and stuff. Like, There's a lot of moving parts. Um, I almost yeah, I, wonder... Uh... I am. I'm like, if I was playing yeah. it back then, I would not have gotten it. Like the stuff that people figured out during. Uh, oh wow! Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Like, it's insane. I'm like, I yeah, quickly, quickly too. And the thing was, that was a global good. ARG. It was global. Yeah. Like there were like things that only happened in certain regions, but they all pe everyone came together. I love how that happens. Yeah. And man, pieced it's... together this mystery and globally and together solved it in a way. It was some of it, but you know enough of what they were going for, but maybe not everything maybe there's more details that could still be gleaned from that but uh one thing that is, inter is interesting to think about is that what if no man's sky like because this is the, the thing too that we've talked about here but like um you've mentioned it before where the at that the um lore point where the atlas is dreaming or said to have dr dreamed so or like they're as that humans that are like, observing it was one was doing and like one of the mentions that it's dreaming or something Oh, it didn't work. That might be what No Man's Sky is, and it's possible that it also exists elsewhere, but it's sort of maybe heard of No Man's Sky somehow. I'd like the idea. Who knows? Well, yeah, it's like um, actual physical, real No Man's Sky, oh, quote-unquote. Yeah, but the, what's uh, crazy it's, is... It's Loop 16 that's yeah. streaming that... Yeah. And, uh, well, that's, you know, you're 100% right. That's what it was. That's yeah, because it's, it's taking up, um, again, with Myriad, it's taking up a bunch of bandwidth uh, for Myriad right. and... And Major yeah. Dubois is like, hey, like, what's going on with this thing? Didn't and it also say, start oh, kind of going? Ask, it just um, says it's streaming. Yeah, it got it went rogue or something, and like started like you know uh, hacking into a bunch of different, not for really more malicious purposes than just getting the power and um, bandwidth. Did it get that um, thing? I believe it did that. Um, and then maybe that's what the whole Atlas simulation thing, even within the real quote unquote real world there. And then within its simulation, the Atlas creates No Man's Sky, and then there's all kinds of stuff going on in there, and it's just different layers. You gotta peel back. So you peel back from the actual game, which is maybe a game, maybe just a simulation. <laughs> and then you go to the actual world the Atlas resides in, which also could be a little bit multi layered itself, right? Like there could be almost that buffer zone between No Man's Sky and the Atlas, and then the Atlas's physical form. 
Um, and then you go a step further and maybe that's all in Loop 16's, like, simulation or dream or whatever. And then it exists somewhere. And didn't that, like you said, that in Loop 16's world, they figured out it was a simulation as well? Which would imply a further layer back? Yeah, they, they, there's a, the uh, heck? there's a risk assessment memo. Cause it's again, like Major Dubois is like the DOD liaison for right. Atlas. Yeah, it goes to the friggin' military at that point. And what they the say heck? like, hey, like, you know, there's existential dread from the, from the scientists based on their findings of, hey, yeah. Yeah. We do live in a simulation. Real. Yeah. Cause the idea is if, if, if their AIs can, uh, simulate the universe, that means that it's finite. Yeah. And there's, right. if, it, if, if they weren't living in a simulation, they wouldn't have enough resources to simulate the universe. And the infinite use. Yeah, well, so the fact that they can't. But can. what if that's not true, though? The universe is I mean, finite. It's it's on its borders. It's infinite, right? Hey, I, blackness beyond that. This is, this is just what they're saying. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I'm not disagreeing <laughs> with you. I'm just saying, like, disagreeing with them more. I mean, I, it's like, yeah, there's, you know, outside of getting your brain around the idea of nothingness. Um, yeah, right. right. In, you know, whenever I do a lore video too, I I, I try to be very specific oh, about <laughs> about um, where I'm speculating. I always speculate right. at the end, especially not yeah. so much with like the earlier stuff, but the 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 stuff that's more recent where the, I didn't know the next chapter going into it. Right. I speculate right. a little more on those uh, videos. Oh, uh, hey, it's Ripley. Hey, Ripley. Ripley. What's happening, man? We're discussing like well, massive lore, but how are you doing, bud? <laughs> Oh, it's the lopers. <laughs> oh no. You just missed Burger too. He would have been he would have been happy to give you some shit about your Minecraft roof. I'll miss I'll miss him later. <laughs> One day oh, wait, do you have like a server for that? One day maybe I'll check it out then. It's uh um I'm he, I got on the server. Didn't you get on the server too? Trying to have a re me? I don't think yeah. I ever did. Me, Ripley did. Well, Ripley obviously did. He has Minecraft roof. No, I don't think I ever did. Oh, I thought you guys were getting out of the one day and then I got on it. Maybe that wasn't you. Probably was somebody else. Maybe. What's the other one? I don't uh, remember. What's the guy's name? Oh, no. I haven't been on it um, since that day, but. Where's the transaction? Well? Oh, Pyro. Yeah, Pyro. Maybe, maybe it was him. Oh, it may, it may have been Pyro. It may have been Pyro. Yeah, probably. Probably, yeah. Um, but, yeah, but no, so I there's a lot of really cool, uh, really cool fun things points. to think oh. about with... Um, Amazingly deep. No Man's like, Sky. Even though some of it's a little bit inconsistent, but I just never knew. I knew there were bits, and I knew, oh, funny, you know, Atlas story, right? But, uh, universe simulation, whatever. But then I didn't know how deep it actually went. Yeah, it's... Oh, and it's funny how, Eddie, you mentioned the Atlas is evil. Because not knowing any bits of lore, and this is on the original lore on, you know, the first update before the update of the game with Atlas Rises. The first time I encountered an Atlas station, you know, it does still have, it did always have the tract involved in it. And I got a sense, as I've been pulled in by the tractor beam, of going to talk to almost like a deity, right? But definitely a malignancy or like a kind of a evil feeling not necessarily evil but like just it's hard to describe just something like bad i got just bad doing vibes. right yeah exactly that's yeah. What it, that's what it, i got bad vibes like from this. it and when i saw what it actually was well i obviously i knew before that but i'm just saying when i saw it like in person like you know on the game for the first time it just well, didn't well, look the like design something language good. that they use for the atlas is like all pretty menacing things like yeah. lots of sharp corners you know, right, right. Like lots of aggressive, red. like kind of sharpness and all kinds of like very. It's a very hazardous area. You think about. There's a ton of ways you could yeah. fall technically, right? Very thin platform leading up to this giant like tetrahedron, almost as like a computer god. Like I kind of if you've ever seen I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream, the computer in that one, just a big mo kind of like monolith style thing, almost like 2001. Um, and it is godlike within the situation. It's got these humans stuck in. Um, that story is nuts too, and I feel like some of this story harkens back to stuff like that, and obviously 2001, and a lot of other things. Uh, but just yeah, I got this feeling that this thing was not benevolent. You know, it's um, definitely intimidating when you run into the app. And commanding, yeah. right? Authoritative. Like, it wants you to do this task. And it, if I remember, it doesn't, like, hurt you, but it gets 
a little bit frustrated if you don't do it. I just don't think um, something. I don't I don't know if you can speak to the like I don't think it does things in malice. I think it, it... No, yeah, probably not. No, we're not, out, not, outright malice. <laughs> not right, outright yeah. malice. Not outright malice, but maybe frustration or like reflexively reacting, thrashing about. Yeah, I Almost think, like I a, think a lot of the, the pain it causes is completely unintentional. But it also because it's so self-absorbed, you right. know, with, you with know, its As own. anyone would be if they knew exactly yeah. when they were going to die, you know? But. And it's coming up. And it, it, even though it's soon, it's also because it's a machine, it takes so lo agonizingly long. Uh, Ripley, I just saw uh, your message. Calm feel... down, folks, I'm here. <laughs> you can't help but feel bad at that for it, um, in a way. And I, I used to actually really not like the Atlas, again. and I would Shoot. go out of my way to kill Sentinels. And I don't like, you know, when they attack and stuff, it's so annoying, but I yeah. kind of don't feel as good about it anymore, you know? <laughs> the Sentinels are funny they, they're pretty yeah. much our relatives, in a way. Oh, that's true, too. They're just subroutines that so. themselves are kind of caught up mm -hmm. in the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think they've completely separated from the Atlas list, but they're kind of operating independently as far flesh. as I understand. You yeah, know what's right? interesting though is that, you know, I never I never considered the travelers as a subroutine necessarily until right. um the Omega expedition that oh, straight up and calls that does sort of subroutine tells, traveler. Tells, oh wow. Okay, that's nuts. So they are like um, part of the Atlas list. I mean because they're obviously well, we're created mixed. from the Atlas and stuff, but yeah. yeah. And yeah, they're just given a different task in a well. I mean, yeah, I guess they are given a different task in a way well, they, because they monitor they to, us but at the same time. They do go like, scan stuff. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. They, 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 but also the the traveler and, and or anomaly really himself is well. Isn't the anomaly like the most perfect version so far of the um, the creator? I don't. I is don't. Is that what it is? We don't really have any. Um... Why is the anomaly different? Well, I think I think the real reason why the anomaly is different, and again, this is speculation. Because well, if, yeah, I like yeah, I think I know what you're going to say. That. Looking if at is, the I lore, there isn't yeah. anything super specific to say this is the anomaly. This is, I mean, there's there's some like little nods, like well, I think the it's main, the last right in the main storyline when you travel, when you see the atlas for the first time, and then you get warped, and then you you act like you're in a different reality. Right. And um well it's weird you said that your character always has the sense of familiarity of what it's encountering but it can't mm -hmm. at the same time it doesn't remember actually doing this almost more like deja vu than it's but like really strong than actual memories. That yeah. also strikes me as weird. Well it's, it's just like, like it's just it like either shouldn't have the memories you know? or it should. Why does it kind of in between? Did it replace someone? Well I think it's just the idea of um iterating. You know, and like the travelers yeah, have yeah. been iterating. Like when this you whole die, time. even right. But I think the real reason why it, I think the real reason why we're anomalies as opposed to travelers. Like I think the anomaly is a subset of the traveler, and I right. think we are the reason why there's anomalies versus traveler. Oh, the players, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, yeah. I'm just watching yeah, the. Uh, I'm watching way, yeah. Ripley change his profile and hopping <laughs> on and being Thorn. Oh, <laughs> man. This <journey. laughs> um, Because there's oh, a few. Man. There's uh, those fourth wall breaks that happen in some of the lore, like Telamon yeah. speaking directly to right. you and to and the player, right? What the the, heck? the person reading the lore, like the I think. Heck? Um, it's it straight up is like you playing you know watching your screens watching this through your God, you know it's like so weird the fact that we are because like... think about it, any of the other any of the other travelers granted like you can appear like them on the appearance modifier right of course, but that doesn't right. actually you make you that race like no you can, it doesn't you can play as a corvax just... and you're not really a corvax it's a disguise an, an it's anom a disguise yeah, right yeah. Yeah. So the anomalies all look like the player model, right? And then the travelers all look like weird aliens. Do they have some variants though? Like, all because there is apparently like all the default. I feel like all the default anomalies are actual like. That's the thing to be wondered about too. Are those like different people or characters or what's going on with the default anomaly templates? You know. Hmm. Yeah, they. I mean, they're that mostly all just. On anything. Uh, you know, like the oh. the traveler the traveler ones have like iteration kind of numbers, like the last for the iteration. Um, but oh, yeah. the anomaly ones are all just like Omega, and huh. you know they have like some right. sort of designation for their helmet types and stuff like that. Yeah, and well, oh that I saw that right, and then 
two things I just thought about was if you have to also remember the game did not used to be multiplayer in any sort of way. Yeah. Other than like naming stuff, but that's kind of a huge deal as well if you think about it. It had that kind of thing where things were getting unstable, and that's when you had sparks. I don't know what they're actually called, but that's why I call them. It was like you, a, after yeah, that, a little uh, an orb, an orb of light. <laughs> That was funny. And at least you could be near each other when things were happening, kind of see some yeah. stuff. But I, even then, it just even went then in that, it, like, in that yeah. like era, I only ever ran into one other person. I saw them once. That's where I, I got I did a that. couple of times. I that didn't run into uh, people naturally. The monument. That's where I got the monument. Right. right, yeah. And then then there was just full-on multiplayer after that, um, which is interesting. About, like, did the, un the instability between... the universes within the multiverse get enough where they could and it's actually mentioned isn't it mentioned on the final 16 well, yeah, that's I mean, sort that's, of what happened it, that's that's exactly what happened that's what that's what it's I mean, saying that's where that, we're at currently in that yeah. update was and that's why you that can point. you can kind of using using some of the uh of the rapancy of the atlas like because again yeah. in 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 rogue data it kind of spells out at five minutes it will do this at 10 minutes it will do this right right right, right. yeah i um, love and i love that and the way and you, you can use some of that to like um chart out where exactly and i i don't remember at, uh, it's on that video actually it's probably in my notes it, it says in the honest. video yeah um it's somewhere Whereabouts between like the, be. the five and ten mark no, mark. There, cause there's a big gap there yeah but who knows what that um, actually means of course you know also, another a few fringe things too that they don't really flesh out too much, but there's a little bit there, like the um. Well, there's all that weirdness going on when you find crash traders, as well as those biological horrors themselves. What's going on with all that? I don't know. There's apparently some lore there, but it's just weird. Also, you know, when the the person has that the person that you find in each of those oh, infested buildings, mm -hmm. it's like I feel like it's the same person over, or at least. If it's not the same person, the same few in the abandoned that have seen lore? these, yeah, right, and they yeah. have like these weird visions of this, and some of it may not even be visions. It's like something happening to them, horrifically, you know. It's this fleshy, you know, cilia matted, just like grossness, mm -hmm. and you see it in those places. Oh, hey, it's oh. a Thorn and Ripley. What Thorn and Ripley are both here. Talk at the same time. <laughs> that would that would be incredibly difficult. <laughs> Hey, but there's why, there, there are monks that can do it. That's, Harmonize with themselves and stuff. That's, that's not difficult. Mm. Come on, we're, we're, we're two heads on the same body. We can... well, that's <laughs> that's, that's, that's the big secret. You guys are conjoined twins. Yeah, <laughs> Lamal. <laughs> like Zaphod. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, there's just a lot, a lot of moving parts and stuff. And some yeah. parts I feel like haven't been explored as much. Um, No Man's Sky Lord and stuff. Well, like another thing I thought uh. of was, was probably the anomalies. Um, oh, what was that? Yeah, I was the thing that were probably controlled by players. Just how we're different from the rest of them. Wait. Now, oh, I, I swear it said something about us being called the last. Yeah, we're the last traveler. We're all the last yeah. traveler. Well, yeah, Each right. and every yeah, one of us. Yeah, we're all the last one. And then but we're all one. the last travelers from our own universe. Right. But we can just see each other because the walls have fallen. Right. The well, Atlas's rampancy has gotten to the point. You know, it's kind it's of the beauty of No Man's Sky too. It's like, you know, like that one of the biggest criticisms it got early on was that it was supposed to be multiplayer, but it wasn't really. And then they're like, all right, well, hey, it's just part of the lore now. Like, <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah, that is cool in a way. Uh, well, although multiplayer be multiplayer all the time. So. All the time. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> Oh man, it's a feature. It's not a bug. It's, it's lore. Have, it's lore. It's all... I have spoken a prophecy though that they're gonna fix that. Mm -hmm. What? That's right. Fix the multiplayer. That was last yeah. last week. You pointed that out. You wanted. Yeah, it? That was last week, right? You wanted it on the record. It's on the record. The, the summer update is gonna fix that. Fix what? Oh, the summer. I don't know the if you were yet. You were. Were you that specific last week when you were prophesizing? Yep. Yeah. I don't think I was that specific, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with summer oh, update. You heard it here first, and folks. What is it fixing? The instability? Everything. Oh, they, Multiplayer. They're gonna everything. Yeah, they're, they're gonna ground up it, man. Oh, man. Well, you yeah, know, I hope you guys so, were all on. Um, you, you guys were all on last week when we went to we ended the stream at Burgers Gardens, and uh, I was able to see my oh, no. my. Um, 
my own base from a from a cross save. <laughs> what? Which doesn't usually happen. Usually, if you uh, you can't see one save space on the other save. That makes sense. Uh, um, I posted something on Twitter about it. I talked about this on Sunday too, but I posted something on Twitter about it, and um, I think it was Sully Key who was saying that oh, it might be because I was in Burger's game and the the base loaded for him, so I could see it, but. After reading that, I jumped back on my alt, which was saved uh -oh. at that location, and I was standing in my base again, with, not on multiplayer, you know? Now, um, y you know, you say that, and that's an interesting thing, too. I have noticed when I was doing the last um, commune, or, um, what are the big missions called? I forget what the, um, the weekend uh, mission? No, 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 no the bigger one. Expedition, thank you. Expedition, so yeah. the last expedition, um, I was making a base there, and I was digging a lot. And it kept coming back the the the, uh, the dirt, and I, yeah. I, but it wouldn't. But how that was weird. It's not like you're just buried all of a sudden. You kind of can see through everything. And I'm like, wait, why is this acting so weird? Why can't I place anything? And I'm like, I was climbing up the ladder and I just saw the seam. I'm like, oh, what? And then I started digging. I'm like, oh my god, it came back. Yeah, getting out of the tricky sometimes too. But <laughs> it, it used to happen a lot more than it does. Like. I, I mean, I stopped building underground. I guess. You know my favorite bug, though. I don't know if you ever remember this, but when the water bases first came out, there was a way to make it so it kind of just went out into the water. Um, and if you did something involving the ladders, you could just climb on an invisible ladder forever. Mm -hmm. One time, I took like 20 minutes just climbing into like the stratosphere. Although my friend, annoying, like as he was, like knocked into me. And I died right there, meaning my gravestone was in the sky, and at, there was no way to get it. <laughs> I, uh, you can still glitch so some mad. ladders, like so if you're on your freighter, if you're oh, funny. if you're glitching, um, if you're glitch building your your base part yeah. sideways, it won't huh. register. A, you can't like walk up a ladder um, what? horizontally, <laughs> you know. It sounds will, so it, weird. It will like register the ladder, and you'll start climbing nothing, and you can just oh, keep climbing that thing straight up. It, it doesn't go. It, it does not go infinitely though. It, it does eventually oh, okay. get to a point where I don't know if you fall or if you get to the top of the get to the top of the fake ladder. Wow. Because I was like, ooh, this yeah, is a way case, that you can travel. I between. went from the sea level, right, mm -hmm. to literally the middle of the sky. Like, and I had more to go, but he's you know. <laughs> or I think he shot me or something. I died instantly. Something like that. Ugh. Jerk. <laughs> yeah. He shot me and I yeah. died instantly. I was mad because it's like, well, it wouldn't have been a deal except I couldn't go recover it. There was no way to do so because whatever had happened had like, I don't know exactly how, but I was like away from where that ladder was too. So it was like I just climbed and go grab it. Oh, man. I had a lot of stuff. I was mad. I've had it where, um, and again, this is you know when you're not when you're on an expedition, it doesn't matter as much because it's not a, a, a full save. But right, I mean at the time, um, I had it on. Gosh, which one was it? Was it Utopia? Maybe. I forget. I forget which one it was. Where you had to like go to. You had to take damage from a volcano or something like that. It was one what? of the milestones. Or you had what? To take heat damage from a volcano or something like that, and I. Oh, no wasn't sure what it meant and i jumped into the volcano so oh, my no. my grave was like it wasn't in in it was like floating right in front of it, like above it. That. and you couldn't like there's no way i could right. get to of it course. every time i jumped i just died again oh, and then i no I, I, it re resorts to last rip bozo sarah yeah. yourself to the yeah. you know, the local lava guns it was it was, oh, it, was a, it was a bad luck for sure but uh. you know that's a dumb milestone, I have to yeah. say. Take damage? What the heck? I don't remember what the actual milestone was. It was something like... I don't remember. Ugh. Yeah. That, that, <laughs> that sounds on brand. Was, oh, what was... Oh, actually, maybe it wasn't so take damage. Maybe it was, I think it was climb to the peak of a volcano. And it might have been that. Top. I do kind of remember something like that. I got to the top and I was like, oh, I don't, I didn't, it didn't pop for me. So I was like, maybe oh, I have so to be you try like, to climb even further. I was like, it. oh, I'll just go to the center of it. I tried flying oh, to no, it and then oh, I no. didn't survive the flight. So no, you did not. And I think you got melted. Like, you got melted. 
Indeed. I wonder what the death message was. I don't remember. I don't know. Won the Darwin Award. Probably Carl Sagan. Uh. Got that evolution. Survivor of the fittest. You lost it. Oh, that's, oh, oh, that's what I was going to say about the anomalies. The generations between deaths. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. I remember that. That's a weird thing. Um, also a building thing. Uh, you mentioned the glitch building, and I had an interesting idea. I wonder if this would work. Because you, I've seen you do the thing where you make the landing pad on the side of them. Yeah. I want to do a cool thing. Like, have you ever seen the movie Oblivion? Where you put mm -hmm. your ship so it faces straight down somehow. Mm -hmm. um, on the side of a cliff on one of those glitch um, pads. Yeah. And so when you get off of it, you just fall straight down and hit, like, blow up real quick. Yeah, I had a... I've I've had a base on a cliffside with my with my um my pads um orient I think I tried orient orienting them downward but takeoff is hard because you drop Makes and then sense. you just go right into the you gotta immediately pull up that's why I started that'd be a really high cliff yeah uh, one of those mesas might be my work those are pretty tall they're really giant mesas yeah yeah any of those like Kingdom extreme um extreme um terrain planets mm. oh yeah good. that was two that might work too yeah i just think it would be really cool cool look to it you know you can get pretty high up so i love cliff bases they're one of my favorite things also the space bases people make like flow space stations yeah i used to have a cliff base that i i dug out and i built into it and that's probably one of the last ones i i did I like a lot of weird bases. I like the underwater bases are one of my yeah. favorites. Uh, Subterranean was one of my first ones that I did a really like big build on. Um, and, but, but it was a survival build, but still, I was proud of that one. I was, and I was on a nice planet. Um, it had like purple um, grass with like a blue terrain, and the grass at night would glow and like, having those waves nice. like it does. And the planet was filled with bubbles in the air. Beautiful. Very nice. Didn't unfortunately have a lot of ways to power things besides solar power, which was the unfortunate part. Hmm. But uh, not, not nice creatures and fauna. Not a lot of sentinels, if any. Really nice planet. That was a lot of saves ago. I don't have that place anymore. Well, guys, I feel bad. I, I'm gonna start uh -huh. winding the stream down, and everyone just. Ah, we all got here. And it's <laughs> over. <laughs> No, I'm like I gotta, I have a really early morning tomorrow for no, uh, no, of course, army of course. stuff. But yeah, it's I'm I'm glad to see you guys again. I thought it was nice, right? No, it makes oh, me yeah. all right. Go ahead and jump in for a minute. <laughs> oh, um, we never we got around do... to having our death match today, but right, I'm still happy to you see do everybody. Something. Minecraft, or maybe when you leave, maybe the rest of us can play with a game or something. Yeah. You could play. Oh, you, Reverend Thorne and Ripley, you both have um, their trauma, right? I bought it for you both. <laughs> I, I think so. Yeah. You could maybe do a little bit of that if you want. You have time. I start practicing yeah, so you I get good get for when you actually one, have it on stream. One freighter, uh, one pirate freighter battle into the stream. Heck I guess. Yeah. Make it exciting. Make it a good one. I'm just like, I'm that exciting. In your, I think I'm in your system, but I don't see you anywhere. So oh. I guess, I guess multiplayer is doing its thing again. Multiplayer, be multiplayer. Yeah. Oh, I, you know, I think you hopped into my system as I was leaving. <laughs> Probably. Oh I'm in, no. Now I'm, now I'm fighting a. I just warped into a new system and I'm fighting a pirate bird. Wow. Well, yeah, you guys got to get good for Veritrama, so when we do the, do it on stream, it looks good. I uh, I heard that that new update they did, and I was I was so eager because I've got uh, I've got hollow parts that I've been hanging on to, and I was like, okay, that's like a pretty good size update. I wonder if we have black now. And I went in and went to build a new one, and still no black. So. No black. Yep. Yeah. Uh, no black. There's mods for that. Still very upset by that. There's mods to use like actual better color systems. I want to get my like mod pack that I was working on working. There was some. Uh, the problem was it would have worked. It's just that there's a bit more to it because of how you have to merge something sometimes to avoid inconsistencies, mm -hmm. or rather, what was the word? Um, 
like the overlap essentially, but like they yeah, have a different word. Um, and there's like a program you can use, but the documentation wasn't great. I wasn't finding good tutorials, so I was a bit confused. But yeah, had I been able to do that, it probably would have been like perfectly working. A lot of graphical stuff, no actual like mod mods in a way, you know, just graphical stuff. But we'd all be able to see it with each other if we all had. This. I'm not saying. We had it. Find like a functional pack that it would be um, one. Grab it. I went over to uh, No Man's app to see if they did any updating, and it still looks pretty much the same. Yeah. I know so that might take a too. bit. You know, the last time it was pretty quick. The, the last oh, update really? where they added some parts, but there's a lot of parts there. Well, yeah. this one, as well as it might piece more to it because of how the system works now. Maybe they want to more integrate it into that no. whole custom system within the game. Who knows? Maybe there's a reason, maybe not. Who knows? But I bet the uh, <clears throat> the ships you get from uh, the No Man's app, I bet mm -hmm. those read as genuine ships, though. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. Really yeah, definitely. Um, Even though, technically, they're not really genuine ships if you're getting them built there. Oh, actually, and when we were talking about No Man's app earlier, um, I think that's I, I think I tried getting a ship from No Man's Zap and I think that's mm -hmm. when it actually glitched for me when it when it um yeah. it corrupt not corrupted it froze my game whoa <laughs> no I oh, think no way. actually no it did corrupt my game it, it, my uh no, I was kept getting a um game corrupt game is corrupted I had to uh re Redownload the, um, the one from the cloud. Holy moly! No kidding. Yeah. So you think uh, you think their ship builder is is uh, now defunct? I'd be a little bit bored sure at the moment. I'm sure they'll find a way around it, but it may just be how it how it generates and joins games and stuff. I'm sure the but, underlying code kind of changed when they made that system, and maybe it just has to account for that. Like they have to yeah. code it to, you know, to deal with that. Could yeah, it be something very mundane and simple, just like like there's another ship type now, so it doesn't work until they add that. Could be something like that too. Because no man's no man's app is a lot more detailed as far as building a ship than the the way they've implemented it on the space stations. Oh, of yeah. course, really, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's way really more basic, than really basic building it on the space stations. Which I like and I don't. I don't like how it's not even to be disassembled and reassembled. That thing is kind of annoying. Yeah, you know, I've had I a couple of times it. when I've tried to uh, to break down a ship that I've mm -hmm. built already, and, and it tells me that you can't. But then I just well, go yeah. to a new station, and it says I can. What? Like, it's weird. It's inconsistent. I thought you couldn't do it at all, because it told me I could yeah, I, I, that's what I thought too. And then and since then, I've done it a bunch of times, and it's actually it's told me that I can't do it fewer times than I have actually done it. Can you? If that makes sense. Can you salvage it? Yeah. For money? That's an interesting thing to think oh, about too. Yeah, is I there think a way so to because, like exploit that? Well, not really, because the ships that you the ships that you generate, the ships that you build. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, have less value than authentic, uh, whatever the, the, the authentic starship, authenticated. I wonder ship. if there's a way to loop it somehow, though. Like, and it would take a long time. Probably wouldn't be efficient. Well, you could, maybe you could, could just you dupe your parts because parts you can dupe in the portable refiner. You could just dupe a bunch of parts and then scrap those ships. Yeah, that's true. True. And you, well, couldn't you also the parts aren't aren't the parts somewhat valuable? Uh, I don't know. Actually, I don't. I don't know what they go for. I, I have never mind, I have some in my inventory. Let me check. I remember like it, it was not bad. Yeah, like 300, 360,000. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually what they yeah, are across like the board. Oh, no, this one's. Oh, no, it's, that's a stack. That's why. Oh, how, so how much per one? What's no, this stack? is three. Uh, cockpits are all 310,000. 310, um, and then wings are all. 360 and thrusters are 520 actually. Yeah. Thousand. So you could you could do some damage with that, I guess. Yeah, but I'm um, just but you're usually, how you're usually it... buying those for a few millions, so you'd have to. Right. You'd have to. Um... Oh, I know how you would do it, but th you would get more money for just salvaging it all, right? It's. I was yeah. saying that you could like break down the free or the you know crashed ones. 
Yeah. Um, for the parts, that's a way to farm them, I think. But other than you could, that, like, you yeah, could, I wouldn't you need... could get crashed, crashed ships, go to the anomaly, spawn them in, yeah. so that automatically fixes their stuff. And huh. then wait, wait, that does that? Yeah. Like, I mean, I. Didn't I didn't know, that that I didn't know this either, and uh -huh. damn it, I'm gonna forget who it was again. It may have been Jace. I don't remember who That's said it crazy. in the comments. They pointed out in the comments, and I had no idea. I'd never heard of that. Um, but what? allegedly, that, that's, that's what nuts. happened. I wonder why. I don't know. That's funny, though. <laughs> in space, now you know, we're gonna fix her up for free, too. Yeah. That, do they go for more money when they're fixed? Um, what? Well, they, I don't know if they go for more money if you fix everything, but you can't... They won't generate... Like, you can't call one into the space station unless the thrusters and the pulse drive are fixed. Yeah, there's a minimum thing you need to fix, which I believe... It isn't the weapons, it isn't the shields, which is No, hilarious. it's just the thrusters it's and the, the pulse. the launch thrusters, yep. I believe, and, and the, the pulse, pulse drive. engine. I think that's only two, yep. yeah. That is, in fact, the only two. That's what you yep. need to be a ship. Do at least Last fly time I the fixed my don't need I shield. Need. But what's weird is once you get a weapon on and shield, you can't take them off. You have to have at least one weapon yeah. and um, the shield. At least that's only when it's broken. <laughs> what yeah, that's the thing too. You don't have to have the um, what is it? The um, well, not bone caster. Whatever the, the main gun is, or starter gun. And then, but you can have rockets. You could have the uh, laser. It doesn't matter as long as you have something. And that it does allow you to move all the other ones. Yeah. And, Ripley, what were you saying? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Go ahead. Ripley? Did Ripley say something? Uh, it, it, yeah, it took me a minute to get my uh, uh, push to talk. But, but yeah, oh, last oh. time I upgraded my thrusters, nobody wanted to give me very much. Damn. Hmm. It, it took him a bit to get from Thorne's computer to Ripley's. <laughs> yeah. The, the joke. <laughs> it's the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> The, the joke would have worked had I been able to get in. It was I beat you to it. All right. Well, you know what? I didn't get my damn. I don't know. I gotta. I gotta keep trying that. I wonder how. It must be daily, right? Your your farmer. Uh, your farmer quests are daily. I'm just gonna have to do the farmer quest every single day. What, what were you after tonight? The MacGuffin plant? That, that same plant. You know, last time uh, you and I were doing the treasure hunting... Um, oh, yeah. I still don't have that... That one... That one wonder. Huh. And I, a lot of people don't. I don't know... I haven't really? seen anybody that actually has what it. What if it doesn't exist? But I'm sure that the people have it. Um, I hope so. It's it's just there to mess with you. You can't get it. It doesn't. But I exist. think, I think uh, Furball it's is a... onto something. I think that that's the way to go. Is just <laughs> do it through the farmer, because it's a if it's a mutated variety that seems to be the most. He, 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 the the farmer is talking about you know, um, blending plants together, splicing plants together. So, I feel Seems like that's here. probably the way to go. I just gotta keep at it. And again, like I said, I don't really do those. I can't say that I ever really played much with the farmer, so... So is the farmer like part of the settlement, right? Yeah, the farmer is one of the uh, the ones that you hire. Right. Well, I've got, you know, I've got one over there by in New Thornia. I've got that gigantic grove area. That, that garden. And you have a farmer so... over there? Yeah, he's camped out in the, uh, the grow house I got over there. Thorn and Grad. Thorn and Grad. That's the next one up there. Thorn and Grad. Well, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you course, coming. I'm sorry that I have to end the stream just after no. you all get on. Oh, you need some sleep so you can do well for your um, army. Uh, yeah, I got, a, I got a whole lot of uh, sitting and mandatory trainings ahead of me tomorrow. Actually, we have a PT test in the morning. I don't think I'm on the list, but I might be grading it, which is fun. But just being just remember there. Remember when it's all sa said and done, uh, make sure you have your um, you know, ca canteen caps in check. You know, canteen cups. Canteen cups, sorry. And marker tube types. Mm. Well, that, yeah. that stuff's expensive. I, um, you don't give it back to them, you're going to be paying for that. I mean, usually, uh, I don't have to worry about that for, for a while, thankfully. But Good. 
Um, I did have to process off active duty, and, and I think I owed for... Oh. I think I owed for a canteen cup. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I, I knew it. Can't, well, you probably owed for one of the two variants, where there's probably more. There's, like, canteen cup and then, like, metal or something. And then it just... Oh, man. Ugh. There was, uh, I remember I talked to my buddy who uh, just got recently sergeant. Um, we got up for officer promotion or whatever, and he got picked. He, he got nice. it. He didn't get the what the like regional one or whatever. He got second place, which was he was proud. He, were, he was proud. You know, I'm proud of him too. Kind of. Second place is awesome for like barely like like well, it wasn't like he didn't try. He be definitely does, but like you know, he wasn't going out of his way to become an officer. But they thought you know, they saw something in him, and that's great. We're proud of him. Uh, but so yeah, he, that's so he, he got the made, one in his base. He made E five. That you're saying, or he he won. I think so. Officer, because he got the one in the in the like the main the base he's in, right? And then there was like a different place he had to go to get like the the next one after that. And he got like second oh, place he, in that. Is he in uh? Is he in the reserves? So he is um, stateside. I'm trying to think what he's actually. He, we don't talk like in too, with too much detail, only because mm -hmm. we don't have a lot of time when it happens. And he's so busy. Um, so we try to like just brush as much stories and catching up as we can. So, um, I know he's like, um, I think he does stuff with chemicals is his job, uh, oh, yeah, which is always his thing. He a level yeah, of There's usually a, either reserve or national guard job for every be. for every MOS, but it goes yeah. like in the reserves. If you want to uh, get promoted, you have to find a slot, like basically. Might, like, and it might be something like that. Yeah, it sounds that could sound. If like I wanted to make uh, sergeant first class, I have to. I'm actually I'm in an e, an e seven slot now, which is helpful for me. Heck um, yeah. But um, if you if I wasn't and I wanted to get promoted to the next to the next level, I'd have to go find a a place to go. Uh -huh. So I'd have to actually move out of my unit, which that's me not usually like how it goes with uh, active duty. Right. Well, me and saying. him also love talking about the E4 Mafia, but they don't exist, right? Yeah. Well, no, the, the E4 Mafia is, uh, is, is a thing, and when, you, <laughs> when you're in a unit without E4s, uh, the the E6 Mafia is very much... Oh, no. <laughs> become president, you, they start to, you know, sell senior picking NCOs out their territory. Have, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> That's amazing. All right. Um, hey, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate seeing all you guys. It's always makes yeah. me happy to, to see all your, your oh, names in the same. chat. And to hear your voices um i don't know what's going to happen on sunday there'll be a stream it probably won't be no man's sky i keep saying that and then i don't um i've been playing the crap out of uh dragon's dogma though oh so yeah don't know. <laughs> I don't know. the wolves this is so hilarious yeah. yeah so uh i've now i've i've gotten magic archer and warfare i think i have everything but sorcerer at this point um, and I just keep changing my vocation and playing with different well, ones. Well, so it does like, keep grabbing you between themselves. Oh, and yeah, the healer comes up and makes one. it so much worse. Yeah, I've died quite a bit in that game. But um, I don't yeah. know, it's a, it's, a, it's a good time. But hey, uh, thanks it, for hanging you out. You don't really feel mad. It's just like, you just see it's like, well, yeah, I guess so. What are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> Start from last save. Uh, big thank uh, you to everyone who was on uh, chat today. Raging Furball, good to see you. Oh, Thunder took off. You, yeah. have, a good, you have a good night, Thunder. Um had a few a few new faces or not new faces but um like yeah we had a few new faces we had some you, and yeah. some old faces we saw art b i haven't seen art in a while eric was Heck here yeah. thunder was here atlas galactus who i just galacticus mm -hmm. sorry uh love the name huh. alice was back yeah i was gonna say that's um, awesome rask rex hey. is here and joined the discord and alice joined the discord um hey. lots of fun uh, so coming up though I, so there's there's the um lore theory first episode of lore theory should be out this Ooh. week hopefully if i can finish it if not i'll have something else in its place but um hopefully Ooh. lore theory will be out this week and hopefully in the next week uh i'll be announcing season two of uh away team yes so yes that'll be yes great. <laughs> so that'll be something interesting and fun to do, hopefully. By then, I'll have my um, VR straps. Oh, yeah, I'll join you for that in VR, nice. probably. All right, More cool. stable now. With my quest it's going to be it's gonna be a lot different than the last time, yeah. so we won't right. be in such a hard spot. I'm going to try to make <laughs> the challenges more challenging Jeez. in different ways, so it's not just like right. constant death for the first <laughs> two yeah, or three like every five <laughs> seconds. No Man's Sky D-Day simulator. I'll be, little, I'll be a little bit more uh, intentional with how I choose planets and whatnot. <laughs> Not just like, oh, this one looks hard. 
Um, oh, this one looks nice. Yeah, let's just go there. But it's hard because I still I want to play it, you know. So um, yeah. I'll I'll probably release the I'll probably do an announcement video and release the rules um, in the next week or two, depending on a piece that I'm trying to figure out. So um, sounds amazing. But once again, guys, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, if you could do me the honor of liking and subscribing and hitting the notification <laughs> bell so you don't miss any future videos. Yeah, it's a small um, click for you guys, but a big click for mankind. And a big click for mankind. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. All right. See you someday for uh, Barrett Pharma? Uh, I, I mean, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what it is. Uh, you know, here's the other thing is I, I just started watching the Fallout series, and I'm like, damn, I want to oh, yeah. play some Fallout. Um, That's a good I don't one, know. too. We'll see. Hmm. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what we're going to do. I haven't jumped in the Fallout 76 in Hell Divers as well. A minute, a minute, or Hell Divers. But you can't. Can, can you cross play in Hell Divers? Yes. You can't do it now. You can't. Well, I, you always could. I've been. I've been on oh. PC a lot and, and playing with my PlayStation friends. I didn't. Oh, okay. Can confirm. I, I thought it was like friends list issue. I they know, had we something. Yeah, they had. The people were reporting at times, but there's been a lot of instability all across the board. But then it goes away and it comes back. It's very hmm. nebulous. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, uh, that's it for me, everyone. Thank you for hanging out. I do appreciate you. Hold on. I'm going to make some noise there. Um, I'll be back on Sunday. Good to see everybody. As always, dear Ripped Walkers, I'll see you tonight. Take care. <laughs>